It's the Obi and Anthony Show. How many hours did you pass out for? I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. Six years? Yeah, just fucking <laughs> all day till it was dark out. <laughs> One, yeah, 90 minutes, that'll do it. Oh, it will. Yeah, yeah. an hour and a half of just in the blazing sun. Mm -hmm. I would have had to great. call in sick if I was out there for 40 minutes. Oh, please, yeah, yeah. Oh, You're a little, Bill what they call fair. Yeah, oh, fair skin. Yeah, so you can you can handle that. That'll be tan within a day. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be guys all right, like me and Bill. That's a week of fucking torture. But I woke yeah, up he and like, even my look eyes that are red. swollen. No, no. Like I'm a fucking mess. I feel it. It's like everything's tight. Put it from the bronze sun. tan. Tomorrow. Yeah, it's, uh, well, booze the empty probably. bottle of Jack <laughs> next to you and the twelve year old you were with. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> not twelve. I, wrong number. Wrong number. Twelve year old. <laughs> Seventeen. That's how old the scotch old. was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, nice twelve year old scotch. <laughs> That's a good uh, Anthony roast joke. Of hey, course. What was, your, what was older, your scotch or your date? <laughs> <laughs> I am quite a ghoul, <laughs> quite a creepy ghoul. No, but it makes it, it makes it so much less creepier if someone owns up to the fact that they're creepy. If you were defending oh, yeah. it, it's like uh, uh, you're right. You know, I'm not trying to hide a thing. You know, Anthony has a cape when he opens the front yes. door. Yes, come in, <laughs> big giant come knocker. In. <laughs> He puts a Please pillow. enter my house. He puts a pillow on Danny's back. <laughs> I, I must suck the youth out of you. How old are you? Let me count. One, two, <laughs> <laughs> eleven. Ah, 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 ah. Come out to the pool. We will go in the jacuzzi. Ah. And she's Anthony, how'd you get out here so quick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just flutter out the back door. <laughs> he doesn't turn into a bathroom. He turns into like a fucking old pigeon. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore, Count Wapula. <laughs> That's me. Ah, uh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you I don't gonna... like fucking touching old bitches. <laughs> well, you can always change your ways. <laughs> no, <laughs> never. Yeah. yeah. Mm. God. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. What well, the fuck like are you going to do? Shit. I don't like fucking... Uh, uh, There's your t-shirt right there. Count Wapula. What the fuck are you going to do? What are you going to do? What the fuck are you going to do? I hate when bitches fucking tits look like you got to rub saddle soap between them. <laughs> that leathery fucking... Horrid shit. Fuck that. Oh, yeah, like, like the real housewives. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, with God, their, see, you watch the that. The elasticity's like... gone in their skin, but they're still wearing uh, that hot little top. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, I horrible. Like that I, I like a I like nice milk. Like no. Like the little freckles, yeah. the chest freckles. You don't freckles like that. Oh. From being out in the sun for the last 30 years. Fuck that. I like yeah. a tilt. I like when they got a little... <laughs> <laughs> I like when they got a little arm fat. You like, like when that the little face is pulled, thing? When the face is pulled back, yeah. but the fucking arms are all wrinkled up still. I, I like when, they, when they're showing them walking away in that gown at some gala event, and the backs of their elbows look like frowny faces. The elbow skin is like, you just got to put two eyes back there. Their armpit looks like a pussy. Oh, God, yeah, the armpit. The way, how does that? You look gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, the face is out all the work, but the neck is fucking telling you a story. Yeah, the Angela Lansbury. The dots on their nipples are too big. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all right, even oh. I tuned out with that. Yeah, see, it's tapped out, Joe. Yeah. You know what's sick? I, saw, I was, uh, my girl watches all those Real Housewives shows, and when I, I saw oh. the one for Orange County, I just looked at it like, all right, they picked out the six biggest freaks. They put them on here. No one really looks like this. I did the, the improv down there. Uh -oh. it's, well, just walk through the mall. It's not, obviously That's not everything. Everybody, but yeah. the level of fucking plastic surgery, it's it's worse than Hollywood. It's, <laughs> and it's really? bad. It's like suburban bad plastic, plastic surgery. surgery. All, like, even the guys, they got that Bruce Jenner face look oh, where you're white, but you're starting to look slightly Asian. Where your eyes can't it can fucking, they can never get them the same either. They can't figure that you out. You become completely, like, you're not symmetrical anymore. One eye's going up. The more they smile, the worse it gets. <laughs> that smile sideways. No, How and, the and, fuck and the they mother, get away and, with that? And and the it, mother, it's malpractice. <laughs> the, the mother and the daughter like like shop at the same place. Like they oh, could great. trade wardrobe clothes. Oh yeah, Forever oh. Twenty One. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Forever Twenty One, Mom. <laughs> and she thinks she looks it. Yeah, the dad's wearing Stop. those true religions, like a dragon, diamond dragon on the back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got pictures. Yeah. 
Uh, go through just pi- taking pictures of people I, tweeting I, them. I, I tell you what I do like is those mob wives. Those chicks are hot. We had them in. Um, we, ha- we had them they're in. They're not hot. The, the tall, the skinny they, one? They're not. Just, the redhead? There was one Jimmy that, was losing his mind over. They, she was that's hot. That's what does it for me. That type of, that type of fucking... White trash. Yeah, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be shit out of you. I'm going to be honest with you. Honestly. If you take a woman... The, Anthony, like, be honest. Lady, I'll be honest. Please. A <laughs> uh, 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 still very well put together broad. 45 to 50 year old broad. Uh-huh. And put her up against an eh 18 year old. You got to take the eh 18 year old. Oh, I totally because, disagree. No, because it just feels better on your fingers. Uh, it's too wet. The skin is but it's too wet. <laughs> it's too wet. <laughs> it's too just, wet. The vagina lips are just cold from you, not being in use. Would you take a a fat 19-year-old or an in-shape 42-year-old? I'd probably take the fat 18-year-old. Yeah, oh, this is fun. All right. No, a 19-year-old. <laughs> a 19-year-old. Wait a minute. A 19-year-old. Uh, had a kid, C-section, uh, or not, a hot not, 41. Any fucking kid, any woman that's had a kid at that age uh, gets a few years added. So, right. so that, C-section. Yeah, then, right. you gotta, then you got to go with the older broad. Okay, ready? 41. Right. Yeah, Here's yeah. one, an 18-year-old. C-section, and no. The 40, no, the 41-year-old hasn't had a C-section? No, no, no. Her dad didn't stick around. She still thinks she looks hot. She's doing that shit. Has uh, you gotta go with the 40, right? yeah, no then you got to go with the 41-year-old. An 18-year-old, yeah. redhead, yeah. one gray tooth that <laughs> lost around 300 pounds, but she's hot now. Why, like flappy tits? <laughs> yeah, she's hot now, though. <laughs> so what's against, the problem? Against the one gray tooth? A 42-year-old mm-hmm. smoking hot. We smoke uh, cigarettes. Uh, uh, smoke uh, cigarettes uh, and talk like this. <laughs> Anthony, come here. <laughs> I love uh, you. Uh, huge cock. Um, Keep it out of the sun. I don't know. That's a t- He's in the basement watching videos on Netflix. <laughs> that's a toss-up. I might have to uh, flip over the... I got yeah, yeah, yeah. it. What's, what's going to be the deal breaker? Something that comes out of one of their mouths. Yeah, 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 that the, would the be. The eighteen-year-old when you take your clothes off. I don't remember off, ACDC. All right, All right, you're out. Her no, you're in. <laughs> you're in. You're in. Good. That's I got a dilemma. I got a dilemma one yeah. for you. Here, here it is. Okay. All right. Forty years old. Yeah. Pretty good body. Mm-hmm. Decent tits. Immaculate vagina. Uh-huh. Immaculate vagina. Tight. Pink, beautiful. Painted on the inside, on the yeah. ceiling of a strip club. Oh, yeah. that, that, that wow! Level okay. Just beautiful. Very good. Or. Great. Or an 18-year-old, pretty good body, bad tits, and her pussy just smells like the inside of a tooth. Then I gotta go 40. Yeah, that's no, you should have go the number. You should have said 49. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you made it a little too Bill's easy. Like, ah, you made it too I easy. Feels right. You almost you had it jokes. too easy. <laughs> I like to see that Ed picks a few older broads, though. Well, right. yeah, I'm not completely insane with 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 it just youth does not instantly mean best. It doesn't. But f- I'm saying for the most part, I would rather take uh, a a a a 18, 19, 20 year old girl that is would probably be looked at as more of a mess than the. Older women, that's better put it, together, I guess. It doesn't bug you that their spinal cord isn't fully developed? Like you can But I'm not going with bones. a fucking zygote. What's wrong with you, What are you Bobby? talking about? The, the, oh, you the, can't, at this point, you can't distinguish her from a dolphin embryo. Doesn't it bother they look the you? same. This is about that you can't <laughs> throw her against the wall without having to worry about hurting her. <laughs> <laughs> what is Bobby talking about? I guess, Jesus. <laughs> it was a joke that he went young. Oh, it is a good one. I got it. A hot 39-year-old. Versus a seven who's eighteen, but you gotta meet her parents when you pick her up. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that that, <laughs> you got that, that has a psychological thing into it. It's, where it's, it's like, not a uh, fan of the father. No, no, I like when he they. I like, bet the father's not a big fan of Ola uh, Wapula. But, but, but yeah, the good thing there. is, the only <laughs> girls that age that would go out with me are ones that f- the father is so fucked up. Or out of the picture. Just a huge like fan of the show. She it's likes your right. tan. Really? My tan? <laughs> <laughs> when I was on a cruise. It's great. <laughs>
What I'm the, you, know, you have to tell the father you're the captain. And then maybe if he had some sort of military captain. background, he'd Ah, oh, well, that's great. I was in the Navy myself. <laughs> what a, oh, Christ. i got to learn nautical terms. Yeah, yeah. tie me a sheep shank. He throws me a rope like Quint. <laughs> you got soft hands, Mr. Kumia, from counting money all your life. Not talking about hooking yeah. bluegills or tommy cats. The shark and a black eye, lifeless eye. Talking about shark and working for a living. <laughs> <laughs> right, what, what about a what about a 19-year-old smoking hot batshit fucking crazy 40-year-old smoking hot Really well controlled. All right, hold What's the phone. Wrong you? Hold, hold the, the phone. It up. Have you listened to that shit? No, no, not even that. Have you listened to the show? That is the only girls. I, those are the only <laughs> girls I ever see. Batshit crazy. Yeah, I know. But so I'm asking from your experience. Yeah, I go with the batshit crazy. You still go with batshit. It's my type. You fucked it up, I, just, Joe. I, I like wouldn't the lunatics. Lopula go with batshit crazy. <laughs> you are batshit crazy, <laughs> and I'm a bat. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and anyway, the 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 uh, any of the older girls that I have he been out with, he walks through his house with one of those giant candle holders. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, there's no lights on. It's just a big candelabra that I walk from room to room with. Yeah, Anthony, with my your... nightcap on. <laughs> Walk around. Ah, you could stay in this room. Ah, lightning comes through the window. You, do you talk about the children of the night? Yes, you the for that? children of the night. Pull the string. Pull the strings. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, even though, the, but the, the older broads I've been with, with the they're crazy too. You can't see them. Yeah, look. Oh, you look beautiful. Looks I come like up behind her in the mirror. Her. <laughs> Anthony, why is your shadow over there? Uh, could you invite me into your room? I cannot just walk in. Ah, boo. <laughs> I am quite, you know, like I said, quite the ghoul. We need a black girl scenario. That'll, that'll trick him. Oh, okay. We need to get a black girl scenario. I don't scenario. have the ages right. Somebody else do it. The I black girl's got to be young, obviously. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a racist thing that is happening right, right now. So. Is it? Is it? Uh, is she fat? No, with the pH. No, the the black girl. <laughs> yeah, she's fat. With the a black pH. girl's got to be young and smoking. Yeah. And what's the equivalent that just fucking makes it where he has a tough decision here? Uh thirty-five year old. Yeah. Was the perfect girl next door, but she's thirty-five. Got a little bit of crow's feet. She's a bit of a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> and but she's got a lot of cash. And she pushed out a kid. And she pushed out a kid. Or the yeah. really hot smoking nineteen like, year old. Yeah. Nothing wrong with her. Uh, we're, gonna, probably we're, test, we're testing with, your racism. I right probably now. have to go with the black chick. There you go. You're, wow, yeah, it's yeah, turning yeah. a new leaf. Are, are you I feeling I okay? All right, let's I think I would. You got a fever from all that sun yesterday? Like yeah. like like Francine was years ago. Yeah. I think you kind of had a little something for Francine. Well, uh, the problem with Francine was she was the wrong color, or you would have knocked no, that no, one, I probably knocked that one I out. I probably would have hit that if uh, I wasn't uh, in a relationship at the time. Really? Yeah, I probably would have banged Francine. Well, this is breaking uh, news. Look at this. You spent a few time. hours out in the sun, all of a sudden you can relate to the blacks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can. I got up early. <laughs> See, that's another one of those stereotype jokes. <laughs> wow. Man just admitted he would have sex with a black girl. Yeah, yeah. We've been trying think, to get that done for No, I think everybody years. knows I would have banged Francine years ago. Yeah. She kind of, you know. But she was, uh, what? she used to tell us, what kind of black was she again? What? She was a, a Tootsie. A Tootsie. She was a Tootsie, so she was tall, got a little light skin. She made fun of the other black girls for not being yeah. Tootsies. For being the fucking, what's the other one that they had in Rwanda? <laughs> the Tootsie and the fucking... God, <laughs> Seattle? There's like nine jokes that just came out that you don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> no. The Hutu. Hutu. Right. Tootsie oh, and too. the Hutu. What about the a... John One yeah. more. What about a Helen Mirren situation? Oh, oh yeah. Get the fuck out of... Why, how does any guy look at that old bat and think... Uh, uh, let's get a scenario. I'm going to say, that just sounds like an old lady name. Helen, Helen Mirren. Mirren. Yeah. Well, let's get a scenario oh, we're playing going. cards over you Helen You better come tonight. up with a good scenario. Who's Helen Mirren? Because I ain't touching that fucking... You know she just smells like baby powder and grandma. Mm. No, she's yeah. hot, man. She smells like a ghost. No. <laughs> you, <laughs> she's kind of hot, right, Joe? I, I think love her. One, I think I when guys her. your age are a little too into way older women, there's some kind of fucking issue there.
Yeah. Well, yeah. I yeah. mean, you're, you're clean <laughs> well, as a whistle. No, no, over there. no. Believe me, <laughs> I realize <laughs> my issues are, are my yeah. issues. Yeah. Uh, but no, he, he has very mainstream issues. He's an older guy who wants to bang younger women. Yeah. Wow. Well, rather, pa rather than just, me, rather than you just think about it. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. But, bought a big house yeah. so he could. Right. <laughs> Look, I have no delusions. Believe me. Yeah. If I was knocking tin, I'd be with Helen Mirren. <laughs> <laughs> I know what this gig has gotten me. It's amazing. I know all my MILF issues come from, you know, I'm obsessed with MILFs. I know it all probably stems yeah, from yeah, the adoption yeah. and abandonment and all it that It has stuff. to, I'm, right? I don't doubt it. Well, how does that translate into something sexual? That seems sick. I, I, I just wait. I want to go. He's sitting there banging children. <laughs> I want to sit. I know. Yeah. Anthony, I mean, you know, can't take some dude at yeah. your age. Yeah. A girl twenty-one is a child. Yeah. What do you talk about? He has, nah, to, have a, he has to have a room full of dolls. I just watch a room full of dolls. <laughs> oh, he does. Go in there. He gives him a stuffed animal yeah. at the end of the night. Yeah, he has to fuck they, him in a crib. <laughs> no, the oh, wow. wow. no, big one. Big crib. Oh, he goes a big crib. It's a big crib. You know, like a regular sized person. They're friends. all legal. They've all been legal. <laughs> I come, swear. They come to go. That's going to be Anthony when he represents himself in his trial. <laughs> Just says he's going to be knocking on that big legal. They've table. all been, been legal. legal. Yeah, because no lawyer will help him out. be looking like, oh god. Got to represent himself. Oh, don't oh, you think what you it. did that night was a little disgusting? <laughs> Objection. Uh, They've uh, all been legal. Your honor. I want to go back to Joe, the oldest girl. With this MILF thing you have going. Uh, it sh well, how old were you and how old was she? The biggest age gap I think I ever... Uh, let me. Th well, here's the two, and i got to do the math, but the biggest, two biggest age <laughs> gaps I ever had was when I was 21, I lost my virginity very late, obviously, oh, at 21 to like Jesus. a 37-year-old woman. Mm -hmm. But then when I was Your in tutor? my late 20s, <laughs> in my late 20s, I made out with and fingered over the pants a 60-year-old woman oh, <laughs> in a <the> bar. Yeah. <laughs> she was hot, though. Uh, <laughs> I love how we all end our horrible stories with, but she was hot, man. I made a 78-year-old lady to fucking play with my asshole and jerk me off. No, you didn't. I gave didn't. her 120. Fuck you, I didn't. 78? No, you didn't. West Hollywood, up the street from uh, Whiskey A Go-Go. Really? Swear 78. I swear to God, dude. I, I, was she I an was old hooker? This, I was into this mature massage. <laughs> mature? <laughs> There's one well, thing. How do you know she was 78? Did you look at her because driver's license? You had to know, she right? Hack she, license hanging up. She had that Amelia Earhart headshot. Miss Crabtree hairdo. I got into uh, mature massage because it was cheaper. It was like, you know, it was, they were like 100 bucks. That tells you right there, my, uh, my side of the story. And uh, I went... <laughs> Why is it cheaper? I went... It's cheaper because they're fucking eighty. Thank you. Um, I went up. You know, know she was. She had you know what a like young seven, tie boy she cost? Might have been she had her. <laughs> she has a loose lip sink her. ship's tattoo <laughs> on her forearm. Yeah, I like Ike. <laughs> Paid her in war bonds. <laughs> she <laughs> <didn't give> me... <laughs> you you knew you were, she was going to be in her seventies when you no, showed up. I didn't know because oh, her face should... was phased out on the website. What, what age but does her... the mature massage start at? It should start around forty. 40. Yeah. 40 and they're usually a little chunky you know but they're very nice they give you like two hours very cheap they give you one lady used to fucking <laughs> did she fall asleep at any point during this time? <laughs> <laughs> but this lady and she was her knuckles were uh she had arthritis of in her course knuckles. she right, did yeah, well, so she well, couldn't well, give, she could only give me a massage like with a like a fucking a fresh sand massage <laughs> Oh, God, would she have the big knuckles and the twisted fingers? Yeah. Oh. How do you know she was 78? And the nighty didn't fit. She had a nighty oh, on. She had a on. She had, 78 she had a cotton, is old. She had cotton crazy. candy hair where it was like, you know, all burnt out from years of dying. That puppet, they tease it up to try to cover up that they have yeah. like eight strands she, per inch. She had a bald spot in the back. <laughs> she had a picture of her with the not famous yet Elvis. <laughs> Was, was she into it or did he she have to? my high school. Was, was she into it or did she have to just pay rent? And this no, is what she did. She she had to pay rent. I think she, she wasn't into she, it. I mean, she had a little. It was right up on West Hollywood, up on the hills, right off the hills, and she had like a, a little a, a house with like a little elevator in it and shit. I think she probably had this house for years and yeah. couldn't pay for it anymore. Probably was a hottie patati back oh, in the day. Oh, forget yeah, about it. Back in the it. 20s. I bet if you IMDB'd her, she was like fifth lead in like Psycho. Oh, yes. Yeah, something. Made it. something. Right. So she got the house. <laughs> you know, Errol Flynn rode in this elevator. <laughs> yeah, really. When did Jerk you me off, Grandma? Did you know she was really old before you showed up? Um, no, I thought. So when you showed up, you said, "What the hell?" Anyway, I well, yeah, I was there, and then I felt bad. <laughs>
I just felt bad. Like I, she was like, this fucking poor lady's doing it. I remember she took my hand, but she couldn't hold it. Like I had a hold, oh, like a knuckle. Geez. Hold my hand. And what then, did she? Uh, <laughs> what did she want? To, what was the sexual thing she did to you? She, it's a massage with a little hand job. She had like fucking 90 cats, too. They were just uh, looking at me disgusting. Oh, great. Crazy cat lady. And then there was a prostate massage supposedly in it, but she was giving me the, the, wait, the suppose, hand job. Suppose what? Wait, wait. Supposedly. Oh, uh, uh, no. Supposedly. Supposedly. The, uh, supposedly. Uh, time. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, so at the end, supposedly. she's giving me the hand job, and I went, excuse me, uh, I'm just asking. In the ad, it said there's a prostate massage included. In the ad, she goes, you she goes it out. Picture this old lady with her finger up some guy's ass. She goes, like, yeah, yeah. She goes, we'll goes, take any competitor's coupon. <laughs> He's gonna call the Better Business Bureau. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, excuse me. She goes, do you want that? I go, I mean, if it's included. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, so she geez. snapped another glove on real angry. Oh, that giant fucking arthritic oh, knuckle God. trying I mean, to get that, through. That's your I asshole. I and gloves. My asshole. <laughs> yeah. That giant what? asshole. Uh, Why? <laughs> he literally he cured, cured her arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> I've known him for eight years. He's and I still haven't heard all the stories. No, no, he's, no, like, no. he's like William Randolph Hearst, just fucking <laughs> skeletons in the closet. <laughs> More <laughs> stories come out. Jesus Christ, <laughs> seventy-eight. Uh, How is the prostate massage yeah. it was it was nice because she only could use a knuckle she couldn't use her finger i don't like the finger in there yeah so she just oh. rubbed it with her with her arthritic knuckle her fat knuckle oh, that was i like that you like a finger you like getting getting your ass? fingered what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, joe i do uh, really oh, I don't like how that. deep uh this chick this chick in uh in uh, uh traverse city michigan figured my asshole so hard my asshole literally hurt for a week from it i <laughs> oh, swear to god shit. she was in there man really i was wasted i don't like that <laughs> <laughs> did she fuck it up with her long nail uh no she didn't really have nails so they, i mean you know so, she was, so she was prepared to do this to oh, somebody she was that day she was prepared then the next morning she got up and she goes She's i gotta go she yeah. goes i gotta go pick up my kids oh. and i was like Oh boy! <laughs> if they only knew it was on your hands. Bobby, uh, seventy-eight. Uh, Seventy. He just had a fucking fist in his asshole. A what fist. A finger. Hey, okay. Worse, don't get gross. Worse. Uh, I move my line. hips around like a hula dancer trying I, to keep a finger <laughs> from getting. Over that. Like if I feel a finger starting to go into that area, really? I'm twitch. I'm hip. I'm moving. <laughs> I'm hip checking. I, 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 I'm doing everything to let her know. No. No. no, no, no. I like no. it. Worst, uh, scratch those roids for me. Oh God. <laughs> hey, worst. Uh, worst. Like line a girl said as she left that just made you cringe and feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> I got uh, one. Yeah, calling I the got police. One. Sorry about the blood. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I fucked, yeah. The I fucked this chick Ugh. in my roommate's bed. I had this hey. gay roommate, but he had TV. He was the only one who had TV in the house. So yeah. I took her in there. We were watching TV. We wound up fucking. And then uh, her pussy, like... It, Died. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She didn't have a period. <laughs> something happened to her pussy. I hit a cyst. I don't know. I popped something. Oh, up. shit. I killed something. So and gross. the fucking, <laughs> the whole bed was covered in blood. You know when you're fucking and you feel blood? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Period wetness. blood is different. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. dry. It's yeah, wet you're like, wait a minute. What's going on here? It's a dry I, wetness. I turned on the fucking lights. I panicked because my roommate's fucking, he was gay. Yeah. So it was like, you know. Did, I, he, did he yell like Walt? did in the Godfather when he pulled the sheets down. Somebody was trying to send Balby a message. Yeah. <laughs> pussy. God. So, yeah, I had to do the sheets. This poor girl, she's le she goes, I don't know. I go, you and your period? She's like, no. She was trying to figure out what happened to her pussy. Oh, oh man. Would you scratch it? She held, when you fingered her, maybe know. you hooked a hangnail or I something? I have no idea we she Shit. helped me wash the sheets because i didn't know how to fucking get blood out of anything and bobby then, probably had a cock surprising. ring attached to a wallet chain <laughs> <laughs> he was always yeah. over accessorizing <laughs> went to fucking hot topics <laughs> when i first met him he had a purse and he was telling me how he could get away with it because we were dude. looking at it going what the fuck not dude dude it's like european dude like, yeah, it's a fucking purse. Who? You know, when you can put everything in your pocket, why do you got to do that? When you can, boom, you got everything you need. You whip this out, you and wrap all, it open. All, all you Supposedly, all, the guys in Europe got them. <laughs> all you faggots have them now. All you faggots, all you faggots have your iPads in them. <laughs> and I don't even use one anymore. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. I had a girl. I had a girl. No, 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 Joe. Before uh, oh, you, sorry, you start sorry. with another girl, I want to know about the uh, the sixty year old broad in the bar. Oh, uh, she. I met her at Caroline's, man. I met her at Caroline's. She was with a group. They were stewardesses, oh, and no. she was with a group of young girls. Wait, were... Piedmont Airlines? <laughs> 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 Eastern <laughs> Airlines? I got to catch my DC-3 back to <laughs> Pan Am. <laughs> and knowing she's a stewardess yeah. makes it not yeah. as bad, by yeah. the way. Well, a yeah. six-year-old stewardess, not as bad. Uh, and you know oh the funny God, part, the dude? the varicose veins from standing on <laughs> your feet all day. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. And that the change of pressure all the time. She's got blood clots all the way up to her. Uh, these, <laughs> these planes are swell. They don't go down like the Titanic did. <laughs> so, so yeah, she she was a steward. What I was her line? Coffee, tea, or me? Uh, 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 she uh, <laughs> she was do. <laughs> she was hanging out with all these younger. Still, you know, she worked with all the girls. She was with all the girls she worked with, and they were all in their twenties. And she was. Uh, and I at swear what point to God, did you know you were in like Flynn? <laughs> <laughs> Errol Flynn. Yeah. God. Yeah. Yes. Now, I had to. Uh, when did you realize all the twenty-year-olds didn't want you, and you had to go for the sixty-year-old? This is the fucked Hi, up I'm part. Joe. <laughs> yeah. When I said thank you, for good night at the end of my set, I knew uh, that I was out. Now, I, uh, the the uh, this is the fucked up part to Anthony's point about mm. me having a problem. I had to con. I was so locked on her and none of the 23 year old that she was like almost being like, what the fuck's wrong with you? There's You're like, like 20, hey, what, are, what are you doing? Two year old pussy around you. Why are you coming in? And I had to literally convince her to hook up with me because I was like, I want to fucking hook up with the 60 year old. Man. I was really, really fucking into it. You know? Sometimes there is the sure thing bet. You bet the favorite. You know, the 20 year olds are the, the long shots at the track. You don't you, want to invest your, your money yes, or your time. Yeah, yeah safe you, investment. Yeah, you, get, save, you went with the favorite. I'm she a was clear, that, yeah, way ahead. You didn't get a believer you, in that. You, yeah. I always go for the goofy face, hot body. If there's a room full of oh, smoking God. chicks. That's a good combo. They have right. 23 and 5. They round the far turn. Here comes the 60 year old bag. Down the stretch. <laughs> She's ahead by 12 lengths. Joe <laughs> wins. You didn't, you didn't get that's much exactly from her, Joe. What it is. Now, we made out in the bar, and then I was rubbing her vagina over her pants. <laughs> what was left of it? <laughs> yeah, through she had really firm pairs pants. of nylon. Nylons that she got from some guy that came back from France. Yeah, look at like, look like Ben They're Franklin's head. <laughs> her boobs were really firm. I, yeah, she, yeah, that was she breast was, cancer. She, oh, God damn. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. God, oh, God forbid. That's brutal. God forbid. That's just really disgusting. I so, liked older women when I was young and old. To me, was thirty five, and then when I got to be thirty five, yeah, yeah, now all the women are like, too, yeah, like, now I started. I just keep going the up. other way. <laughs> you just keep going. Yeah, yeah. Higher, higher, higher. I get mad now when yeah, I like watch card sharks. All yeah, of it. Yeah. Higher, higher, higher. Another good point. You're a milf guy. Yeah. How old are you? About thirty three now. So how old will you go to keep the milf thing going? Mm. Uh, if I watch a little milf porn now, I'll go up to you know sixties. If they're in, if they're hot, like hot sixties. Wow, but really? Chicks in their sixties can be hot now. She don't say chick in their sixties, <laughs> by the way. It doesn't work. That's a bird. A woman, a bird in, in her sixties. A broad. She, in once her 60s. a girl becomes, I think, once a girl really hits the thirties, the friend. chick thing goes away. <laughs> Listen, once a, a lady friend, Joe's lady friend. My, uh, she calls you my gentleman visitor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And my lady you friend, bought, Joe, bought a brooch for Christmas. <laughs> a brooch. I had <laughs> Can, can we, <laughs> oh my God! Can we get some sixty-year-olds in here and you pick one? Yeah, fuck yeah! I you would, would really that. want. You'd really do that. I'd wow. do that in a second. I'm. Stuck. Are you kidding? I would fuck a sixty-year-old. I'm getting excited. I would fuck. I would let her jerk me off. Yeah. And let me cumsies. But I, I, there's something about an old vagina. Something happens to the vagina, like the outer rim of vagina. Yes, the yes. The lips get like... Well, it's gravity. It's kind of like, you know, the fat on a steak? It's like... Oh, it gets a little oh, hot, like it starts to die. Oh, it's it's, it's a little necrotizing. Hard. Yeah, the pink is in there. It's <laughs> yeah, it's you just, ever been to the Grand Canyon? It's like the rim of the Grand yeah, Canyon. It yeah. starts collapsing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's all dry. It's time. It just dry starts, like the gravity does <laughs> start... You you know, weighing on the the parts and pulling them down. Yeah, you so you like, can't have like a prolapsed you ever vagina. Have squid. What? You ever have squid like calamari? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the sautéed version, <laughs> but the the squid is too big and hard. It's like that. It's not tender. I'm just picturing like the picture of all the kids she's had. They're all in like their fifties. Oh yeah, yeah. 
He all, was in, all the photos he was on in the plastics. wall. He got in the ground floor of plastics. That's where he made his money. There's Bobby. Lost him in the war. Uh, as you're walking through the hallway to a bedroom, are there Vietnam, just those collage no, pictures? <laughs> all black and white photos of wow, we Harden gotta, later hosen. we got to get some 60-year-olds in here for Joe DeRosa. I would do that. How do we do that? Because we, we don't, we don't have that type of audience. Sixty-year-old women is a little out of our demo. <laughs> but maybe we could get some grandmas, uh, some of the listeners' grandmas in here or something. They got to yeah. be hot grandmoms, though. like you know. We had a. We, how old was that stripper, grandma. Ant? That Which came one? in at NEW. Oh shit! I don't. We even had a stripper that, that came in. She was in her. I, as listeners will help us out with everything. They know all this shit. Uh, I think early seventies. Oh, you could see every fucking vein in her tits. She looked like that visible woman right. model we brought her, when you were a kid. We brought her does to she, one of our road shows. She was system. a hit. Does she, does she dance Which, to, like, hip-hop, or does she just keep it old school? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the rug act. Dum, dum, and then she gets dum. up, dances fast. <laughs> Yeah, she'd probably go and take you through seven decades of stripping. <laughs> well, time travel. Yeah. She does a fan yeah. dance. It's like a ride at yeah. Disney World. <laughs> it's a Disney World ride. <laughs> <laughs> five foot two, eyes are blue, but what those five foot could do? Has anybody <laughs> seen my gal? Ah, you can sacrifice yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the stage Helen. Here she comes, beautiful. You may have seen her at the USO tour for our boys over in Tunisia. <laughs> you know, and in the 20s before it was unacceptable, she's a bad girl. She's a card-carrying member of the Communist Party. <laughs> yeah. God, she does no, hot. She's a little intellectual. She likes to discuss politics. Yes, an intellectual. She oh, has sure. her own ideas. <laughs> she's actually been seen smoking cigarettes and wanting to vote. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Jesus Christ. L like how, little rascals, teachers how, and parents. How bad w was the seven year? I mean, uh, let me ask you because you're going to say she was decrepit. And she wasn't bad. Like hot, se hot for seventy. You got to remember, she was probably seventy one, seventy two. I would guess. Uh, did anybody come up with the answer? Right? Oh, uh, how old she was? It was N E W. How old so. was she, and what was her name? Does anyone know? Who I know we have pictures that used to be on a website. We should <laughs> we should find those pictures today, you rock, if you got them. She was Joe, when you were with that girl, did you, like, and she like wanted to put some music on. Did you, like she turned on like an old record player with like a seventy eight of the Andrews uh -huh. sisters. Yeah, yeah. yeah she my had baby's the boogie woogie bugle boy. A company. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, <laughs> let me crank it up first, and then we'll get some <laughs> tunes going. Did you Actually, answer? Cracks your dick like that. Had a bird on it. Did you answer the question why she didn't go all the way? with you I, oh, I, I tried to get her to take me back to the hotel or bring her I don't remember which or bring her back or whatever mm. it was and she's she, sharing a room with somebody she wouldn't do it she, she just, just she was like no not this time and then she came well, back it won't be a next time you'll you saw her a second time well she came back and called me like a year later and then by that point I was like I'm not into this <laughs> I can't do this. oh yeah she's so old she now that <laughs> operating menopause was over <laughs> and, uh, an operator co connector <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvania me. six nine thousand. Oh my God. <laughs> <a> telegram. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's right. Operator, operator, get me Klondike five nine six five. <laughs> no, it's Klondike. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Klondike. <laughs> Joe, I figured we could go to Coney Island. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Connect me with Benson her seven nine three two six. <laughs> she. <laughs> was there only four numbers back then? You knew that too, right? Uh, of course, there was just like, well, you didn't have to put in anything. Mm. Yeah, she showed up. She showed up like a year later, and she called me. And she goes, "Hey, I'm in town." And I said, eh, "I can't really hang out tonight," and I kind of dodged her. And then she showed Came up to town by train. <laughs> yeah, by by boat. Fourteen big cases, <laughs> big steamer trunk boxes. Yeah. When she got in, she was on the bow of the ship. Going like this, yeah. away with an anchor ship with the bird with feather, the Statue of Liberty behind her. Bird. That's like extinct. I'm with you, Bobby. Immigrants crying all uh, around her. The war is over. <laughs> oh, we get it. She's old. Her dress kept dragging in the mud. <laughs> You're no gentleman. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, uh, Jesus. Oh. Yeah, so she, she, yeah, she came back and then she found me. I dodged her and then she showed up at my show, and I was hanging out in front with another comedian, 
And she walks up. She's like, "Hi, you didn't think I'd find you, did you?" Right? That's oh, what she said. Uh, I had a private eye. And I, yeah, <laughs> like film noir. <laughs> yeah. Who was the other comic? Uh, I was Jay Okerson. You know, uh, Jay? he wouldn't bust your balls, right? No, she. I go. All right. He probably well. wanted to double team her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, dude, you get her up. I'll fuck her in the ass. <laughs> oh, shit. And yeah. he didn't know the story. And and I go, all right. Well, I'll see you inside. Ha <laughs> ha. And she went inside the club. And I just turned to Jay and I go. I made out with that chick last year, and we oh. just started laughing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you feel anything when you were massaging her vagina? Any warmth? Any yeah, moisture? Yeah, calcium deposits. <laughs> yeah. It felt like a trampoline in the rain. Because <laughs> there is, you know, a moisture issue when they uh, get older, I think, right? No, I think it gets it dries up like a That's fossil. what I mean, oh, a moisture issue, way. like the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it dries up a little bit it's like, like yeah. the, the planes of the serengeti yeah, yeah no it's, like, yeah. it's like a the, you know that piece of tire on the highway you run over <laughs> the it's old like, piece of retread yeah, that came yeah. off uh, came off a truck it's like that it's all wrinkled i got dry. a buddy that's so disgusted by anything over 35 you'll see like a hot 36 year old you go look at that chick she's hot and he goes please i'd rather drag my dick along these rocks <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunt will be drier than that fucking bed of sand over there <laughs> at 36 <laughs> oh dude he's brutal. Brutal. 36 is an old no nah. No, no, that's not. Even I say that's not old, and I'm no. fucking crazy for like well, you know. You know. <laughs> I had I had to actually go on a website and check law, state laws. <laughs> I've, I've actually so I've you don't get actually arrested. had to like go. Oh, okay, now I can pick her up. I can drive her to New York. Oh, She's like, not allowed to be I, barefoot. I can't fuck her at her, at her, at her in her home state. Yeah, Anthony but has I to fuck in a tunnel. Exactly. There was actually a, 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 a time where. I was able to actually, I, I could have sex with a girl, but I couldn't show her any pornography on the internet. Oh, that Jesus was illegal. Christ. But he researched Which is that. fucked up. He yeah, researched like, like, all yeah, that. Which, which by, if you ask me, is one of the most fucked up laws ever. You could have sex, but you can't let them see a picture of a naked person or take a picture of them. Oh, the hypocrisy. It what really is. If, what happens if you fuck in a mirror? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know, right? Look, she's seeing it. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a quandary. Uh, but they will not see me. Ah, the perfect yeah. crime. No reflection from me because I am a ghoul. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Once you're com taking girls over, once you're committing the man act. That's a man laid. act. Yeah, just knocking <laughs> down mailboxes, driving through people's backyards. That's the Got man a girl act. in the car. That's a man act. Whatever <laughs> smoking the banner. Yeah, Transport over state act. lines. That's the man act. That's a man act. <laughs> <laughs> that's kidnapping. <laughs> <laughs> kidnapping the baby. Greatest movie ever. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Fucking insane. The I, man act. With that, we're Thank gonna, you, nice lady. We're going to take a break. Officially welcome uh, Joe DeRosa, Bob Kelly, and of course Bill Burr to the show today. Yes, cheat. We're going to talk about cheatthemovie.com after the break and some yeah, other things, right? Absolutely. But we have to take a break because we have Mother's Day reads and all that crap. Oh, that's Which good I after think that conversation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joe, pretty. did you ever hook up with a chick who had polio as a child? <laughs> <laughs> Joe hooked up with a chick and she, she paid for dinner with beads. <laughs> Oh, it's old. <laughs> trying to get rid of me? Yes. What are you of. doing? <laughs> What's the sign language? Uh, Ed. Ed. He's our producer. And he decides when uh, a guest is uh, getting a little too boring, and that was the sign what that the that oh, he okay. usually gives. And, uh, More what's disrespect to well, Ed. We're having a good interview. I can, I, I, can, I can tell you, Anthony, that that's the that's last so time <laughs> I'll ever be on your show. No, that was, uh, that, yeah. I didn't, I've suffered your insults enough. And <laughs> I, I certainly wouldn't come back again. I'll be glad to talk to you about the Columbia oh, documentary about some that. other time that when he's not around. Can I Talk to you, Ed. I'm okay. a big fan. I love you. Absolutely. Thank you. Be sure that he's not in. I, I don't. He does this all the time. I'm oh, a big fan. I'm very happy to have you on the show. He is. Uh, he is. A, uh, he's a destroyer. He's a destroyer. <laughs> destroyer. He's like Gordon Gecko. He builds yeah. nothing. Yeah. He liquidates. He's filthy. Yeah. He's, he's greasy. Yes, he is. I don't want to smell his shorts. He's a Sven <laughs> In quotes, I don't want to smell his shorts. Ed Asner. Bravo. The great the Ed Asner. Great Ed Asner. Thank you, sir. Very nice Thank to meet you. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're a destroyer. <laughs> he called you a destroyer. <laughs> Wait till Anthony hears this on the replay. Oh, it was phenomenal. Hey, Jimmy, get back here, man. I'm, I, I start sweating. <laughs> Ed, no, come on. Give me a handshake, please. 
Fuck you. He said, no, fuck you. Dude, Ed Asner just said, fuck you. Oh, that's phenomenal. <laughs> Bill Burr, Joe DeRosa, Bob Kelly. You might hear in the background Bill Burr saying, uh, talking about his movie Cheat. Cheatthemovie.com. Playing uh, tonight all over the place. Well, tonight at uh, the Clearview Cinemas, Chelsea 4. Can they just go to Cheatthemovie.com for movie time? I think they're sold out, except for Thursday. I, yeah. I think every showing, sold out. every showing except for tomorrow, I believe, he showed up. But if you go to TribecaFilm.com and then search Cheat. What? Why only 15 minutes? It's a short be. film. It's a short. That's a short. Hence the name. Yeah, a, we, <laughs> don't have, short. we don't have short a million film. to make a long. Yeah, we don't have. Yeah, this is how uh, you get in. You, 50, you make a short one. You know. All right, we calm down. It's, just money. An, it's a good question. I was talking to Ann about this. It would, could this possibly lead to a longer version of this film? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah. a lot of films have done like, like Blade. I heard Meet the Parents was like that. They yeah. guy made a short one. They liked it and then yeah. uh, turned it into a long movie and then attached a bunch of stuff. Well, actually, the, the Fockers, Meet the Fockers was actually a short in That's what he just said. He just started with. Meet, meet, meet the parents. You said meet the parents, right? Which was the yeah, first well, that's one. That's the first one. Oh, meet, yeah. yeah, they didn't start with the third oh, you movie guys, of the trilogy. You guys could have corrected me when I told you that fucking two days ago. <laughs> it's just fun hearing you say shit, I, Rog. I hate that. I'm the one who told him that. He just fucking threw it off as his knowledge. Yeah, but, but you fucked up because you didn't listen to what he just said. Yeah, but I'm, yeah. He didn't tell me I, I Why are you blaming me, ago. Bob? I'm you should have jumped right in from the beginning and said meet the parents. You said meet the Bob. You said the wrong thing. We all do it sometimes. And you literally said it right after he said it. I can't. Showing them you weren't listening at all. Absolutely. I'm a fucking... Good buzz in the movie, though, huh? <laughs> fucking do me. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens, you know? We have a we have a feature-length script uh, based on this written already, basically, so we're hoping to try to sell it. Because that's what everybody told us, that you're going to go there, and, and if people like it, they don't just go, oh, that was great. They go, we, we you know, we loved it. What else you got? So we got to be got to have something in hand be like, right away. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And people are liking this, right? So uh, far. So Joe, far. Joe went to the first one on Saturday night. We weren't there. We were on the road, but he was at the uh, premiere on Saturday. Yeah, I was at the uh, premiere of our first movie we ever did at De Niro's Festival. These fucking guys were in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> yeah, <'cause, laughs> Why would you go with that? Stuff? Yeah, wouldn't we, you just blow the gig first off? Because we could get gigs. Oh, oh see, Joe. Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> we had to pay called mortgages. Ah. Yeah, and also, yeah, my gigs, I already sold all the fucking tickets. I know, it's yeah. just a, I he's just making Christ. a joke. He's such a cunt. Yeah, I, I was just making a he joke. He always tries to make himself like he's more responsible. You probably fingered an 80-year-old when you should have been talking to a producer, you creep. <laughs> oh, they got you, Joe. They got me. Oh, what's, they the, got uh, now, what's the, what's the <laughs> gist? Of singers. What you, what's the <laughs> gist of the movie? Uh, we can't say too much with because uh, well, there's a left, 15 minutes, well, there's yeah. a left yeah. turn. We don't want to we want to give it away, but it's basically right. uh, three pieces of shit uh, get together to combine their piece of shitness to uh, try to accomplish a goal. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm trying to pull off the perfect heist. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> when, it's right, that, and there's a it. there's a character named Doc. There's a time machine. <laughs> made up of the That's cool. The guy goes back. It's there's a lot of no, cool it's shit definitely, going on. It starts off. You think it's a serious movie. Then there's a left turn. Then then it. All it right. Yeah, and it's in, it's 3D. Are, are you? Oh wow! That's you nice. at the premiere? Yes, I went. Were you sitting in, in the audience when they were showing this thing? Yeah, and uh, it, it killed. It was great. It went. I was really actually. Uh, you know, I don't want to say surprised. Like I didn't believe in the movie, but I, you know, I was surprised at how good of a reaction it got. I was really, really excited about it. I couldn't, have, I, really dude. Excited. Even if I was there, I couldn't have sat. Just the level of powerlessness. Because oh, as a comedian, no, yeah. if it's not going well, you couldn't just. The fuck is wrong with you people? Like blame the crowd. Right, but right. The film is just done. It's there. It's there. And if it's bombing, you there's just nothing you can all. do but you just, slide right. under. Bill your just seat. runs up to the screen. Hey, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's I did that. Good. <laughs> I did Dane. We did the Eight Guys premiere, and he showed a uh, animation that he did before the actually Eight Guys. It fucking tanked. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing worse than being in a room full of fucking no laughs. Oh my god. Just oh, this yeah. cart and watching a cartoon at that. Good thing oh. you could dab his eyes with hundred dollar bills. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Get it? I was uh, I was I nervous. Find him. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, <Sorry>. Wow! I, <laughs> wow! He's found most of it, hasn't he? <laughs> oh boy! He's talking about it, girl. Why are you looking at me? I didn't even get that for half a second. Uh, yeah. I just you know you don't get 
a joke? You uh, just look around trying to read people's yeah, faces. Yeah, yeah, what what, what was the subtext? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's I was, uh, some like people a deaf know what person at a comedy show. <laughs> so, so you guys might have something here. We'll see what happens. We'll see. You know, we, we're, we're hoping for the hoping for the best, but you know, you don't want to get your hopes too high up. Because what do you do with this you know, film if it doesn't become a longer feature? Uh, yeah, Jesus hey. Christ! I don't no, know. I, I, that's, a, that's a cold bucket of water of reality. <laughs> Put it on We're a still in fantasy land here. Yeah. But, but isn't that a real question? On a Saturday <laughs> when you're lonely. <laughs> yes. hey guys, check out this. Here's something that we thought would change our <laughs> yeah. lives. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh damn. damn! Fucking ninety comments from shit dicks. Go fuck <laughs> yourself. You yeah. suck, it it suck. All right. You know what? I'm actually willing to bet. I'm willing to bet. Even the some of the bigger cunts that listen to this show will actually enjoy it. Yeah. I think we did a good job. Yeah, we're going to send it to more festivals after this one, and you know, you just hope that at one of these things something will happen. Well, but that's yeah. the reality. You really, it has to be longer for it to be well, successful for you guys, right? It, yeah. In all fairness, you know, the, the 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 short has opened, you know, other doors. You know, it's like it's like you know, we we wrote this book that yeah, we, we have coming out that of you guys were were involved in mm -hmm. for those uh, interviews we did, and you know, so that'll be coming out next year. So that was, and you can get the movie will be in the back of the book. So yeah, that's the way so, we're really? get, yeah, and it will oh, be available so and download for like iTunes. If you buy the book, you'll be able to get the yeah. movie yeah. too. Yeah. So at the very least, we and, got that. Yeah, and also too, like, like who came guys. up with this idea? The with what, what? With the story for the film? Yeah, it was basically a true, sort of a true thing that happened to me and Bobby and I were talking about in the diner and he Bobby said let's do this as a, as the short film Bill Bill had the idea that we should do a short film and then we were like alright let's think of something and Bobby and I were talking in the diner one day and I was telling him this jam I was in, he was in and Bobby went we should do this as a, as, the, as our movie idea and we Great. called Bill an old he was woman like, involved you know so, <laughs> yeah Great. a couple old broads are involved yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, make out session with an old. Bag. I've known about this movie for a while now, and I still don't know what the fuck it's about because because of the left turn. Well, yeah. you were you were going to come down on Saturday, right? You almost made it, but then because you forgot it was Easter weekend. Yeah, which we thought was amazing. As a married man with a child, you had no idea it was Easter. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. You should have used a better one, man. Yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, you didn't buy any is candy? this weekend I, Easter? Yeah. I had no idea. He's probably standing there in a bunny rabbit suit. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the worst excuses. We got. I've never supported he you can't, fuckers. He can't even look at us. Look at us. He's looking away. I, I wanted to go. Wife is painting whiskers on his face with eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out how I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of had something no, else I, to know, do. Man, we, we I wanted to definitely, go. Definitely, you've, you've come out to all our shows. We yeah, me with yeah. the jokes, but I did want to go. But we, are, we, are, we do have to break your balls a little bit with that. Is there I, another I screen I could Easter. go to? He's trying to, he's trying to move the ball We're forward. At, yeah, that's, no, good. Yeah, that's good. You didn't even go to the premiere. Huh? I don't that's know. That's a good point. You got a good point. Wait, <laughs> so why am I supposed but to go to Yeah, but I said I didn't go to the premiere because I have a gig in Milwaukee. In Detroit, I, had, I, I didn't say. I, I had, had no idea. In, it was I had a gig major in home. Philly with the fucking Easter Bunny. It is hilarious. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, dude, I was gonna visit you in the hospital, but I forgot till today it was my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I had no fucking idea. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, you know me, always uh, forgetting uh, stuff. Uh, Sitting there with a party hat on, <laughs> frosting on the side of his face. <laughs> yeah, Wait, so, he, so Joe was the only one there, right? Yes. So well, you busted I, my balls, I, but you weren't going to be there, and you weren't going to be there. We couldn't. We had we're not giving you shit for not bills. being there. We're just saying you should have yeah. just said, I, I can't it's make like, it. Yeah, it's not like we did the, the movie premieres are at, like, from 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. That would be a different story. Saturday night for you is pretty much a night off. He was in Philly for Easter is what he's saying. I had to go down to Philly for yeah. Easter. Well, you could have supported us. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even he, support he, yourself. He, yeah, but your kid's not even going to remember this. And help me out. He didn't even support I'm, himself. I'm out and of I'm this supposed one. to go? We're not going to get out of this one. Yeah, we, don't problem, Anthony. we knew he wasn't showing up. We, we know, unless, we had, yeah. unless we had the uh, premiere at like a Hooters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. DVD, I'll watch yeah. it in my own theater. Anthony, I don't go out. Can I get Anthony, the premiere is on the corner at the end of your block. <laughs> All right, I'll be there. All right. <laughs> what time? Mustang goes by a plate. <laughs> can I get a copy of the movie? Uh, we no. can we we have a Hello? link. Oh. We have a link you can watch it. The on. secret link. Yeah, we sent it to Kenny I'll this tweet morning. That shit. No, no don't do that. Oh joking. my Jesus God! Like Joe. Yeah, Joe's I don't like, no, trust no, him. No, fuck I don't trust like him. A man yeah, who picks right. us up, Ed Asner. What are you? What are you? An idiot? <laughs> what? Don't give these guys the movie on. I didn't level. give them anything yet. Hey, why do I? Why did you say these guys though? You want a link? I would just I would just watch it at home and be like, you can give Anthony the link on Monday, but you can't give it to him on Friday. I might get drunk. Yeah, you get shit.
shit face. No, live, <laughs> from, <laughs> too bad. live from the compound. Hey, <laughs> let's just watch the movie the right whole, here. The whole Fuck movie. it. Commentating <laughs> on it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's gonna put it up yeah. on the internet anyway. Yeah, hey, you know how the internet is. <laughs> what, when's yeah. the, Whatever, it first. Yeah. When's the book coming out? Uh, not till next year. It'll it'll hopefully be out February or March of 2012. Yeah, we just turned it takes forever. forever man. And what's the book about? Obviously cheating. Well, no, yeah, we can't really. You know. We can't talk about the whole it. the whole what thing. What the just fuck run. are you here for? <laughs> oh, wow. We'll promote the, we'll promote the Dude, movie. We just gave you an hour year. of fucking the Golden Girls. You don't want. To... <laughs> I want to promote your shit, but you're you're too vague. We They're being can't... mysterious. Very mysterious. I think it's working. This left turn must be a hell of a left. Well, now we're going the exact opposite of like. Remember the Speed Two trailer. Where there's like, you know, if we got to keep this boat at 60 knots or we all die. And then they show them running around the island. They yeah. showed you right through halfway <laughs> yes. the third act. So obviously they didn't die. So, yeah. they're, they're so on the, the joke island. I've been using, uh, the way we're describing it, somewhere between uh, our, our promotional, somewhere between Speed 2 and like the crying game. Yeah, yeah. We'll give you not... a little bit of it, but then when, when I can't give away the twist. Yeah, With 15 do. minutes, it's very hard to give a, a little synopsis of the movie yeah. without... Ruining the movie. Cause yeah, it's, like people yeah. giving us shit. The trailer's too short. It's like it's, it's like, a well, fifteen minute yeah, fucking yeah, movie. And we can't show right. you a shit in the trailer because then you'll fucking. We don't want you to ruin the fucking movie. Yeah, yeah. And all these guys will get give you. a shit about this. Once they see the movie, they'll get why you can't do it. Right. You know what yeah. I mean. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we're going to the part. The Fair parties enough, are fucking great. Me and him went to the, the opening last week. Fucking, uh, it was crazy. Scorsese. Like Three thousand people there outdoors. Yeah, Leary was there. Uh, Scorsese was there. And uh, what's her name? The Elton John. Elton John was there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> how, do, how do you get a movie? So you make the movie and then you. How does it become part of the film festival? You yeah, submit it. You know, you submit it, and then with nine you, so who got, the, the, so who got the call that? Yeah, we accepted this is your the, film. This is the story. Uh, we were we were. I think that's kind of cool. We were trying to submit it to festivals, but we're three lughead fucking comedians. We had no idea how to do it. We're <laughs> yeah. missing deadlines left and I'm right. You didn't even know. It. I'm yeah. joining everything on the internet, like all these fucking communities. I get <laughs> shit email every day from the, <laughs> without a box festival. But did you guys even know how to make a movie? Well. We kind of we all fool around with a video camera, but that, did you know about lighting and Not all that Joe shit? I went to school for that shit. Yeah. D did you really, Joe? I went to school for I went for video production, and I wanted to be a director. <laughs> so and you know, all of us. yeah, all I, mean, I don't know. I, that was the easy way through college. I knew how to nonlinear edit from school, and I knew how to work a camera. You know, lighting and stuff wasn't great, but that's a DP's job usually. So Joe put together a good crew, though. He so put, you hired some good people that yeah, do that shit. Yeah, yeah Joe yeah. did. Joe did gotcha. a fucking crazy job directing this. Yeah. Really, we Thank I, you. when I watched it, I was like. Oh shit! Like, yeah, this actually looks like a movie. <laughs> oh, it looks yeah. real. Really? Yeah, I thought it was gonna look like a YouTube video, but when I watched it, I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh shit! There's, oh, no. a, there's a lot of responsibility that's gonna come from this. The first first time I watched, it, I literally had my thumb on the stop button. I was like, the first time oh, I get douche no, chills, I'm you're, shutting you're this out. off, and I was just like, fuck! This actually looks halfway Every, decent. Everybody <laughs> watches the movie like this. Ready? Uh, at the end of it, they're like, "That was really good." Like, that's like wow. surprise. Like, wow, you guys didn't suck. Hey, yeah. what happened there? Yeah, no, it this, was good. <laughs> this guy, uh, Andres Carew, who's our DP, really made it look beautiful, and and also hired a great sound man because that sound is so important, man. You know, it's gotta you gotta have a guy that knows how to mic everything properly and have the backup. You oh, know, you gotta pick shit, up the words, know? Joe. Oh, Bill, you gotta get the words <laughs> of the, the meat. It's gotta so. sound the same, you know. But you don't we, want the sound sounding different every. Yeah, yeah. 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 Had, one, one of Joe's chicks just playing some fucking ragtime piano <laughs> underneath it. Sounds like a speakeasy. <laughs> I, I, just, I, just, I just think it's a great story because I've known you guys for a while. I didn't know you as a filmmaker, and now all of a sudden you're in this fucking film festival, and, and, yeah, we were and there's a buzz on this thing. Here's what ha here's what it was our first time out of the gate doing any of this stuff, so obviously we're extremely honored and flattered to be part of this festival, so, but, well, you know, could, because it was a our... fucking Oscar, all right? Well, but... We're extremely honored. <laughs> I'd like to thank God. I was waiting for some sort of evil <laughs> to enter right. into this. Imagine Let's the... not forget Haiti. Imagine, <laughs> imagine they're up for a short film. Oh, my God. Oh my God. You'll, uh, we'll never uh, have you guys back. No, ever. Be over. I just, that. I just got nominated for an Emmy. For no. uh, no, uh, for consideration. <laughs> <laughs> no, Louis, yeah, Louis, but you you got to pay for that, right? Louis, I don't. <laughs> FX is and yeah, you know to win it. Send me. They sent me an email with uh, for consideration for the Louis show, the episode of. Uh -huh. the, they uh, sent me. I, I called the lady. I go, Wait, are, which, you, are you fucking with me? But it wasn't. She didn't get that. I, I thought it was somebody really fucking with right. me. Right. But she was like, no, sir. Uh, which episode? 
Uh, the mother episode. Yeah, right? that was a good episode. episode. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah do you know, you know, you have to, you have there's a submission fee. Really? Well, one time, one time I had a uh, some stand up thing, and they go, "Do you want it to be? Uh, maybe I don't know if this was Emmys. Do you want it to be considered for a such and such award?" It's like, who doesn't want to win a fucking award? I'm like, absolutely. They go, "Okay, it's a six hundred dollars submission fee, just so they'll watch it." I'm yeah. like, "Isn't that that job? They're supposed I, to be yeah, watching." Yeah, what like, the fuck? I, yeah, uh, but I would. So I paid it. How much? <laughs> so I, yeah, <laughs> so right? I did. I How much? So I paid a win, <laughs> motherfucker. I talked to Louis though. I, I was like, "Hey, thanks for that." He was like, "Yeah, yeah." I mean. You, it's not going to happen, but you'll see your name. Oh, shit. Your name will be with, you. <laughs> My name will be with all the other names that, you know. Are it's not going to happen. Yeah. Wow. There's no, Relax. No, they're not, they're not going to have fucking bald, fat me. I know you guys don't know me, but thank you, Mom. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Uh, it's all bought and sold, Bob. It's yeah, filthy yeah. Business. Filthy. <laughs> God yeah, damn Follow town. the money. <laughs> follow the money. <laughs> Bobby was fucking hilarious last night. We were at, we were at one of those parties for the, the festival. And we just, it was just all the people trying to meet someone important, so Ooh. there was nobody there like who seemed like we could do that anything. That was important. Oh, yeah. There probably was. We just had no idea how to meet. We were classic comedians. We just ended up sitting by ourselves in the corner, like, you know, goofing on yeah, everybody. Yeah, every yeah. No, oh, actually just trashing each other, right? <laughs> so at one point, there was these two gay guys, like, in, like, their 50s or something, wearing, like, tight, like, uh, flannel shirts. <laughs> and that song, Raspberry Beret, came on. <laughs> oh, no. and, and one of the guys was just going fucking, starting to go all out dancing. I just look over at Bob. I go, dude, I'll give me 100 bucks if you go over and start dancing with that guy. And Bob's eyebrows go through the ceiling. 100 bucks? <laughs> And then he starts walking over, and I immediately know I'm going to lose 100 bucks. So my only desperation to try to get it back is like, it's got to be the whole song. <laughs> Bob goes over there with such positive energy. The guy immediately starts dancing. He, like, he made the guy's night. Like, I still wow. got it. Like and, oh, man. And, and his boyfriend got jealous. Uh, made, like, this candy shit. face. He, he was mad. His he just started was shit. Oh, I, I, I got to tell you, it was fucking, I laughed my fucking ass. It was almost worth, it was like a good $70 laugh. $70 laugh. So it still hurt. The extra 20 bucks. After, after eight seconds of dancing, I just reached for my wallet. I was like, ah, yeah, you yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I walked over. <laughs> I was out the 20s. I grabbed him and walked out the fucking door. <laughs> but you got to know he would do shit like that, right? No, I didn't. I thought he would draw oh, yeah. the line at a festival that we were in. Not, oh, yeah. Not okay. to do something like that. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It's fun. Yeah, it's so <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> and he enjoyed it. That's what killed me. I wanted a he level a of dancer. awkwardness. He was a good yeah. dancer. Bob, yeah. He was a good dancer. He was that guy he loved was, you. He was mimicking every dumb move I made. <laughs> he was trying to do the eyes and the hands, and he would try to do it. He had a drink in one, and he was drunk. Yeah. He was so old, Bob was a hottie. He was flattered. Oh, yeah. His little yeah, it, was like, it was like one of those equations we were throwing at you earlier. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> old guy with money or a chunky Bob, young fella? Bob, 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 Bob was a chippy. Uh, I'm a fetish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what uh? What what was it like when they show it in the theater? Mm -hmm. uh, is it is it on film? Or they have some kind of video shit. What the fuck is it on? No, it's on an iPhone. Everybody gets an iPhone. Is that it? And everybody just watches it that way <laughs> in the yeah, same like room. Fucking it's like being in a museum. Yeah. Yeah. No, really, it's, it's on film. It's a film festival. Well, it's yeah. not. It's we didn't but, shoot on film. We shot, shot on video. We shot in HD, and the the yeah, projection yeah. is HD cam. It's okay. HD transfer. Well, well that's sure. exactly what I was asking. More of a so technical question. giving you jokes because me and Bob couldn't answer that technical. Oh, is that it? Hey, what are you a fucking moron? It's on a thing. Yeah, yeah. So of course it's on film. Meanwhile, it's not on film. Can the average person festival ninety percent? Percent of the short. We were in a thing with eight other, sh seven other shorts. Ninety percent of them were shot on HD. Can you yeah, tell them? And all that stuff. Can you tell us not film? Not really. These not days, really. It's really cool. In fact, good, what, huh? the movie before us, they shot on film, and I thought it was video. And then the really? kid was saying, "Yeah, we shot it." We shot on film, and everybody was going, ah, oh, dude, you're one of the guys keeping it real, you know? Keeping it real, uh, man. No, but I film couldn't tell. Like, no, 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 no. Now you got to be really honest. So there was seven of them? Yeah. Short films? Where, where does uh, yours uh, fall? This is funny. When, the, when it started out, we were last. We, were, we went eighth out of eight. And when it started out, the first, like, three or four were so insanely shot like it, they looked like IFC films like <laughs> camera going in and out of focus all these metaphoric <laughs> shots <laughs> metaphoric yes. shot. it's all fucking heavy they had actors in them that I recognized <laughs> I was like oh <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> I've seen that motherfucker effects. did you ever see Copland right? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. See Copland remember the remember the paramedic guy when they when they make it look like Michael Rappaport kills himself and he throws the gun oh, oh, get yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. out of yeah. here that guy, that guy he's in the first movie <laughs> I was like oh Jesus 
Jesus uh, Christ. The dad from License to Drive was in the third movie. <laughs> I'm like, fucking hey, they got the real actors. Joe, Joe. <laughs> 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 one of them have special effects? Yeah, one of them, the fifth movie had, had real special effects in it that oh. literally looked like Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why I didn't go. I didn't know fucking oh, way I was no. going to go down there and be like, oh, Jesus, we are hacks. And they were all... <laughs> They're all like super dramatic, like slices of life, like yeah. fucking emo. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, we're fucked, man. Nobody's going to go want to see our horse shit. <laughs> Nobody uh, is going to want to see shot it. was done with roller skates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a dolly shot. Get a skateboard. Yeah, get, and, uh, get that Puerto Rican in the park. Get him over here. <laughs> and then, like, the, it, it just started to lighten up, man. They hit, like, the sixth movie. And it was like this thing about a, a guy's grandfather, and it was funny and charming, and people started laughing, and I was like, all right. And then the, the next movie was, was a flat-out comedy, and that got a lot of laughs. So now I'm nervous, like, fuck, I hope we get as much laughs as these guys got, you know? <laughs> and then it came on, and it, it did great, and it killed. So I, was, I really felt like I'm not going to sit here and go, we were the best. I don't think that. I just think that it held its ground for what it was, and I felt like it was unique Thank for God. what it was. You know <laughs> what I mean? Uh, uh, well, it's hard to judge because uh, you, you know, made it. So it's hard to say, oh, it was the best one out of the lot, you know. Well, yeah, or the worst. Or the worst, right? <laughs> right. right. He's, he's saying that because he doesn't want to, if people are listening that are in the festival, he doesn't want to be, hey, our movie's the best Yeah, movie. ours the but I'll best. Say it. Ours was the best. Yeah. I'll say it. You yeah, weren't you there. Yeah, you it. weren't there. I know, that's why I can say you it. You can say <laughs> it. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you edit it? or uh, I co-edited it with co the DP, yeah. Did, yeah. You, did you, were you like... Uh, Going, you motherfucker, man! Come on, leave that in, well, dick. No, he, no, we. I, I had all final decision about shit like that. But he, he was the only one from the production that came with me to the premiere, and it was like we were both laughing with relief when it started getting laughs in the theater. Oh, cool. And afterward, we were both, I, like, we both admitted to each other, like, I didn't know if this fucking thing was funny or not, man. Because <laughs> you sit there editing it, and you're like, I don't know. I've seen it too many times. Too many times. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, it's like I remember sucks. Brian Regan told me that about, I walked, did you ever see his DVD, I Walked on the Moon, yeah. the one he shot at the improv? That's literally probably the funniest hour of stand-up I maybe have ever seen in my life. Just gutterly the whole time. And I, when I met him, I go, Brian, that is one of the funniest hours. Ever. And he goes, I couldn't even look at that thing anymore. I didn't even know if it was funny by the time we were done cutting. I was like, you didn't know it was fun. Now I understand. Yeah, like, shit yeah, just yeah, you have no idea. Like, I have no idea what this is. It's mm -hmm. a big pile of shit. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't know. It sucks. So it was, it was cool, man. And the festival reps that we've been dealing with that have been our points have been really enthusiastic about the movie. They... They like our yeah, sense of humor, so, and, and like Ob was asking, how do you, how do you how'd you know that you were in? They give you a little call and well, you go bullshit. And what happened was we were failing miserably at submitting the film. <laughs> this is what right. would happen: Bill would come over to the apartment and go, "Yeah, we should uh, we should submit to Sunday Sundance." Like we've been saying. I go, yeah, you're right. We got to get on that. All right, I'm going to go in the bathroom. You check it. He'd go in the bathroom, and then he'd hear me go, fuck! We missed the fucking deadline. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did that happen? Like, we were always like, the, Every uh, festival? Yeah, the Yukon Northern yes. Northwest Territories has a uh, film festival. Oh. Well, let's submit to that, dude. We'll start at the North Pole. Yeah. We'll come right down. Try to spin it positive. Yeah. Shit! But now, but now, now fucking deadlines all the at festivals... Three. I was waving the submission fee. They want us in it, so it, now it's a lot easier. You know, they oh. just yeah. They get yeah. Touch well, like, I guess once you do yeah. try back. So who calls? Is this well, call uh, you? Uh, now try back is one of the fit. biggest ones. Yeah, exactly. right. So yeah, obviously you got it in in time. Yeah, no, we're, st we're still honestly dumbfounded that we we, we we both we were all sitting there last night. Can you fucking Wait, believe we're in this how thing? That happened. Yeah. Bobby and Bobby, I go dance with a gay guy. <laughs> 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 That's a good career move. Here we go. That's hilarious. Bobby and I have been working for management. We've been working with Leary's company. Apostle, mm -hmm. um, and they called us once. Jim, this guy Jim Serpico over yeah, there. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know Jim, right? Yeah. Jim called us and goes, "Do you guys want help submitting the film?" We're like, "Fuck yes, no. please." We don't know what we're doing. So they started sending it everywhere. And he called us one day and he goes, "Do you guys want to submit to Tribeca?" And we're like, "Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. absolutely." And he goes, "Today's the last day. We got to get it in. So we'll we'll do it." And he sent it in, and then we just kind of forgot about it. We weren't because we didn't even think like it. And then he kept calling us every few weeks. They really like it, man. They really like it. Yeah, and the then, thing is, they got like three women over there who, who once they select all the ones they can look at, each one of them watches 600 short films. Jesus Christ. And, and picks their top 20. And then 
then they look at the other two's top 20, and then they decide from that. Yeah, oh it's like God. March Madness wow. to like the <laughs> 9 million. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no shit. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so we were pretty like, all right, well, what, what are the odds of this? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we're just trying, you know, just kind of put it out of our head, not getting too excited. And then one day, it was, I was in my apartment. It was fucking snowing, miserable, like middle of February. Ah, he's painting a picture. Yeah, yeah. Phone rings. I'm, I'm just in it. the apartment, depressed. The Snow phone rolled. rings. Right. <laughs> Jerk it off to gilf porn. <laughs> you have some lady baking bread in your kitchen. <laughs> Churning butter. Knitting <laughs> <Our shirt. laughs> you a scarf. Gladys, quit hacking. I got I got a call. <laughs> I made you an half can, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the phone rings in uh literally. Bring. <laughs> it's, it's old. <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. Where the, I didn't recognize the number. I pick up, and uh, the, this lady says, "You know, lady. my name is this lady." Says, "You know, my name's Sharon. I work for the Tribeca Film Festival." I go, "Oh, hey, Sharon, how you doing?" And she goes, "Ah, uh, well, like that." And there was like this one second pause, and literally in that second, I'm like playing out the million different letdowns she's yeah, about to right, give me. Right. You know, thank you for submitting, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And she just goes. Uh, I'm calling to make your snowy day a little better. Uh, we'd love to invite you to the tribe. And I was like, holy, holy shit. Man. I don't accept. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's in it for me? Tuts yeah. <laughs> Listen, broad. Yeah. And then she goes, and then she goes, we'd like you to, if you don't have to do this, but we would, we would really like you to world premiere your film here with us. And it's like, what do you say? You go, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll do I didn't it. realize how big it was, though. So we went, we went to the first night. I thought it was just a little festival. You've never heard of the Tribeca no, Film I, Festival? I, never, I didn't say that. I, I didn't Dude. know how. <laughs> I didn't know how. I didn't think it was as. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be big. huge as it is. Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, all the. F I mean, uh, the yeah, it's crazy. That's all you need to know. And I didn't know how they started it. They started it for September 11th to get people back down into Tribeca. Is that how it started? I like the yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I never heard that story. They, they wanted people to back into. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> every every in this story. Everybody yeah, you knows. Don't remember, you don't remember that whole thing? Everybody knows why they. You lived the in this fest. city, Bob. Yeah, it was not, like, and the whole thing was, yes. No, I didn't know that. When it first was pumped out, it was like, <laughs> Dude, it was, was huge. Because it was like, wow, we're bringing people happened. back. Something uh, happened 10 years ago, evidently. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. was that date in Bobby September? Bobby had some so, info that none of us knew. It's called September 11th. <laughs> oh, okay. I was a little yeah. shocked. <laughs> I wasn't keeping up on the fucking arts and leisure section. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> thought they started it after the first World Trade Center attack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, that was good. Uh, Commemorating sooty mouths. <laughs> I, I gotta agree with you though, dude. I didn't quite grasp the weight of I'm it not until. Agree with me, go fuck yourself. Even though it's until... called an Academy Award, they actually have a nickname for it called an Oscar. <laughs> 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 the first time this was used, evidently, was in the 1930s. <laughs> it got its name because back in 1946, Bogey shoved one of these up Brenda Garbo's asshole, and she shit, and that was called that having an Oscar. <laughs> oh, Bobby. oh, Bobby. I really we didn't I, know. I didn't think it was th as big as it is. Like, yeah. it's fuck. Like, these parties you go to, like, the first one we went to was fucking incredible. And we, I feel, I mean, I'm white trash, dude. I, f I shouldn't be there. We're behind this section. Free food, free drinks, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm yeah, trying to tip the. Doesn't cost I keep anything. trying to tip the guy. You know, I'm trying to. I'm the guy that tips the toll guy because I feel bad. Hey, you're we'll trying call to yeah. gre grease the waiter, thinking he's gonna get you to see a producer or something. I just felt like a piece of shit, like I shouldn't be here. Just trying. And then a couple sat down. They've been going to the festival ever since it started. They're like total artsy Tribeca New Yorkers, yeah. and they sit down with me and Joe. And I'm just trying to keep my mouth shut so I don't fucking don't ruin fuck it. anything up. Yeah. Did you talk uh, to any important people? <laughs> I was at a luncheon yesterday, and De Niro was there, and I, I oh, just shit. couldn't walk up to the guy. People were walking up to him, and I was like, I can't. Yeah, that's was a telling, bad guy to walk up to. He was, I was texting telling, us. Like, it's like, why? But trying I was to telling, figure out what to no, do. No, just going, he's 20 feet away. I was telling Bill. What would, hold on. What would, what, would, what would you say to Bobby? That's exactly why I didn't walk up to but, him. Hey! But no, I told him what he should have said. He should have been going, come here, you. Yeah. Come, come here, here, you. No, come no, here, you. No, you. Oh, you're literally <laughs> yo. you're literally sitting there looking at him, watching his hair morph in your head to all his famous characters. You know? <laughs> you're like Travis Bickle, Raging Bull, Jimmy from the you know Goodfell, and you're like Jesus, Christ, I can't fucking walk up to the guy. I and there was did you almost? 
Uh, no, I just, you know, because here's what happened, man. We're at this luncheon. What were you thinking you would say to him? I know there's something in your head. I literally was going to just try to go, Mr. De Niro, thank you for having us at your festival. I really appreciate See, it. See, that, that would have been perfect. That would have been good. That would have been perfect. You know, all those movie lines, there were fucking rollers. So that is people. because it's like, it's, it's you being appreciative of uh, the festival that he uh, came up with, and, and you're involved in it, so you were thanking him, and then that's it. He there were so many people walking up to him. I just, I don't, you know, I was saying to oh, Bill earlier. Just be another Jenny. dick. Slide <laughs> <laughs> in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Just start back at, Jimmy! You know how uncomfortable he'd be? I told Bill. <laughs> walk away, have this guy removed. I told Bill, if we see him again, if we see him again, I want Bill to walk me up to him, like when Paulie walks run young Ray Liotta up to him at Goodfellas. I go, oh, yeah. what do you say? Thank you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Keeps coming. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> this is the kid Joe. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever rat on your friends. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know, man. There were so many people walking up to him. And I'm just like, you know what? I, uh, That's pretty cool. Let me no, just have I, I the think you can tell when, when somebody him. wants doesn't mind if you approach, mm. and then when they do, I'm, I'm not going to name the name, but I, I t I'm never doing it again. I was at some <laughs> Christmas party, and there was somebody who I really liked, and dude, he was standing behind like 40 tables with like nine people around him, and I remember being drunk trying to walk over to him like thinking in my head like jesus is it ever more difficult to get to somebody oh, not no. realizing in my head that there's a that reason was on purpose yeah. yeah and then i got over there and i reached out my and the music was way too loud i reached out my hand to shake his hand and he thought i was trying to tell him to get out of the way <laughs> so he sort of backed up and put his hands up oh, like that and i was no. like no i really was a big fan of your show and he just just looked at me as as no the second he thought i was trying to get by him i was like uh oh. I you're wish I never came oh, over here. Burn. I should have just. Who is this douchey? Why won't you tell us who it is? Yeah, come it was on. Gary Shandling. No. Was it really? Yeah, and I fucking loved the Larry Sanders show. Sure. And I just had to tell him, and I just Gary couldn't, Shandling. could not read oh, the situation, dude. He was behind, like he looks he like such an unapproachable guy too. To just regular, yeah, yeah. even oh. when he's doing a friendly interview, he looks oh. like he doesn't want to be there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. it was so bad. Fucking I was having a great lips. time at the party. It was so bad, I wanted to leave. I so just when wanted... you walked away, was it really? Yeah, it was bad, huh? I just thought he and all his crew were staring at the back of my head, going, "Who the fuck was? What the? Yeah. Fuck? Well, who How let the fuck him do through? you not know? I'm all the way over here. What do you got to do? And not only that, it was sort of like a private part, like this thing. Oh. It was private, so. Douchebags like me weren't supposed to be there, but just in case they were, he was yeah. already standing in the corner, and I still that crawled over. That shit happened to me with uh, fucking Leary, Dennis Leary, up in Boston. Really? Here, yeah. Years ago. Yeah. Years ago, we were up in a oh, yeah. bar. We were doing <laughs> some classic. fucking gig or something up there. It I was don't part know. of uh, Comics Come Home when, yeah. it, when it was really hot. Comics when, Come when Home. When they were filming and, it every year. And we were upstairs at the like the VIP section and uh, the, the the show The Job had yeah. just come out and my buddy Adam was in it. You know? So oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I talked to Adam and he's like, yeah, when, when you know Dennis comes up later, I'll introduce you. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I go to the bar to get a drink and Dennis Leary like walks right next to me to get a drink or whatever the fuck he's getting. Mm. And I'm like, you know, fuck waiting for Adam. The guy's right next to me. I'll introduce myself. Yeah, fuck having the smooth intro. Right, right. I'll just right. walk in like this. I was like, uh, you know, uh, Dennis uh, Anthony from the Opie and Anthony show. I'm friends with Adam Ferrari. Does, uh, you know, the job with you. I'd pleasure to meet you and stuff. He, he, he didn't look at me. He put his hand up. He goes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, could I have a... And then the bartender, he got... And, and, I, and then I had to... I had to skulk away, and everybody was looking. Because we, oh, we all watched this go down, so and he has, he has to now walk back to all of us, and we're just like... Yeah. And, and it was so embarrassing that when I turned around, they didn't even all start laughing. When I turned around, they all looked away and looked what? down oh. like, like they weren't watching. It was oh, that wow. bad. Like, uh, I actually got a little sympathy from these motherfuckers until, you know, I walked over and then they started laughing at me. Beat him up. <laughs> but I was just like, motherfucker. So then we finally got Dennis booked on the show. And I'm like, good, I'm going to lay into him and ask him what the fuck is his problem and everything. So I laid out the whole situation. And he goes, well, what do you want me to tell you? I'm a fucking asshole. And it's like, uh, don't diffuse the situation like that. Now I, I have nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yeah, that's all you got to do. You yeah, just agree with it. Yeah, I'm a fucking asshole. Great. Yeah, I treat people like shit. <laughs> fuck you. The hardest? Oh, great, thanks. I got douched so Fuck. hard one time <clears throat> when I was in college, okay? Chris Isaac had this album called Forever Blue. And the whole album documentary <laughs> just <laughs> Chris Isaac. Yeah. The whole the whole <laughs> Chris I 
I get Damn. shit on. Uh, I get yeah. shit on. I get shit on. Don't worry. Chris Don't worry. Isaac. He had this album called Forever Blue, and you knew all the songs on it. Was I this love CD it. Blue? Oh, what was this? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Forever. What was the song that was the hit? I had Baby Did a Bad Bad Thing, and I somebody's. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, listen. No, no, no. What, what was it about, like, Chris Isaac's music that just really you connected with? The whole album documented this You know breakup. this one? Yeah, this is a great tune. This is, is from it? Eyes Wide Shut. Baby did a bad, bad thing. Uh-huh. It's a good tune. I remember this. You like this song? It's oh, right. it's George Thorogood. Hey, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's good. I don't know. What? This story's more about how he dissed me, not about the music. But I feel like we're going to keep right. getting smashed. I, no, 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 I definitely no, want to no, hear Joe, it. Joe, tell the story. I want to hear it. Wait, wanna, the, wanna, the vocals on this isn't bad. I want to beat him up, but. It's a fucking great, good tune. All right, I'll check it out later. All right, All right. Well, out. we used to listen to this album in college. We what do we give you? <laughs> so we were going to hear that. The we whiny Chris Isaac. Uh, we used to get drunk. And we'd come home from the bar and listen to this album, and we would be like, oh, oh it's so fucking great. <laughs> it's such an amazing album, blah, 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 right? So he, I'm a, I did this show with Dave Chappelle out in Boston, and we're standing out, I'm standing out in front of the hotel with Dave Chappelle smoking cigarettes, and he was, this was the peak of the fucking Chappelle show post, you know? <laughs> we're outside, literally a tour bus screeches to a halt in front of us, and Chappelle goes, uh-oh, who's this? Guy gets off the bus, he goes, Dave. Uh, Chris Isaac's on the bus. He's a big fan. Can he come say hi? Dave's like, yeah, man, I like Chris Isaac. You know? Guy walks back on the bus. I turn to Dave in the 30 seconds I have. I go, dude, dude, Chris Isaac's got this album called Forever Blue. It changed my life. I love it so much. Oh, my God. I got Dave goes, I'll introduce you. I'll introduce you. Chris Isaac comes off the bus. He's talking to Dave. He's fucking wide-eyed. He's so locked into Dave. Dave, I love you. You're hilarious. Dave goes, thanks, man. Thanks. Listen, man, this is my opener, Joe DeRosa. Chris Isaac turns to me. I go, Chris, your album Forever Blue is so brilliant. It changed my life. He goes, yeah, thanks. Listen, Dave. Oh. Again, just literally oh. six years I invested and, in this fucking album. Oh. And just was like, yeah, kid. I and I would bet a lot of like money it. Dave Chappelle couldn't name one of his songs. Not that no, I know. No. You know. Chappelle kept going. You were the real fan. Chappelle kept going. I like your show on Showtime. That's what he kept talking about. <laughs> oh, it was his TV shit. show. I was like, oh, oh, right. boy. just oh, such a smack fucked. in the face. Yeah. That's hey, that's that story. That why did the, why, <laughs> yeah, but why did the why that's did the album sad. change your life? It did it because the Does whole. Ever have a song change your life, man? No. Oh, a fucking cartoon could have changed his life. <laughs> Why did it change your life, Joe? The whole album documents a breakup from start. It starts with that song, and it just documents all the emotions of getting shit on and dropped by a chick that you're in love with. And it's just a, it's a brilliant concept album. There you go ahead. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm listening to you. What's wrong with you? Finger on the button. Like no, it's the man. nuke button. What? Just <laughs> Okay, fuck it. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> well, continue. I'm sorry. Jim. So yeah, whole um, breakup, beginning to end, and you see what, what it is, guys. You, you feel it was talking to you, man. When I feel, I when like I when a song talks. He though. sounds like a 14 year old. It. He changed <laughs> my life. Yeah, I'm trying to. Anthony's what just it, come on, get him back. Come on in here. What <laughs> it is, guys? <laughs> when, when, I, when I when I feel a man's penis go from soft to hard in my mouth. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. This album. Is it's the what, perfect accompaniment playing in the background? Yes, yes. <laughs> when I feel a man shoot his greasy load <laughs> ah, so, so, into my rectum <laughs> trap. So a girl fucking broke your heart, and and this is what got you through it, a Chris Isaac. No, as album? usual, I just live theoretically through movies and <laughs> music, as Bobby really makes fun of me for, and I just uh, thought it was a great album. Anytime, I was like, this is what it would be like. He doesn't anytime have life Joe, experiences, anytime really. Anytime Joe calls me up, I'll give him experience. I'll give him pep talks from my life. Yeah, things I've lived through, experiences, people, places things that I've to say he, you call him up for advice dude it's like in Pulp Fiction you know when fucking <laughs> myself what the fuck did you just no he does him? that this, dude this is the Goodfellas situation where he doesn't have any like real life no it's all from, no real from, life all from TV all from TV and movies it's this is like that Golden <laughs> Girls episode where uh, <laughs> Blair says to Tootie, Tootie or whatever the fuck no, that's facts of life for Christ's sakes Bill <laughs> oh, you have a you have he has a, a Golden Girls guy. wallet Joe's the cable really? guy yeah, 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 that's how like much he's into Golden fucking Earl. I love the Golden Wall. Girls. I think it's hilarious. It was uh, fun. Chris Isaac, Golden wow. Girls, Flannels. What else do you like? You Fagan? have a Golden Girls wallet? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you do. Look at that. I bought I this like in a store. Item. I walked out. I bought this in a store. I walked out with my buddy. I go, what was the name of that store? That was the gayest fucking store I was ever in my life. And he goes, I don't know. I didn't see the name of it. I looked at my credit card statement. It was called Rainbows and Triangles. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's the oh, name of the shit. store. <laughs> what, do you, yeah. what do you jerk off to those pictures? <laughs> Take it easy. No, like, yeah. Yeah. I like the, the old broads. He does. Oh, yeah, no, he, when, when, he's, when he sets that thing down in the bar, some old bag knows she has a chance. Ah, yeah. That's right. That's, a, that's porn. Oh, to you, you're right? into the Golden Go Girls? That wallet talking Is to she, your sweetheart? Joe goes down there with his bomber jacket on. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, what old... Yeah. What old celebrity flying <laughs> tigers emblem yeah. on the back? He has five dollar bills, the big old ones from the Titanic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, let's go make out in Times Square. <laughs> Yo, the I'll, war is yeah, over. I'll dip name, you. <laughs> name some old uh, broad celebrities that you think are hot. Helen Mirren's top of the list. Oh yeah. You see the the mirror picture yet? Who the fuck is that? Uh, I've seen her naked. Oh, in fuck. like she did a thing in like Vanity Fair. Someone recently, send me the picture yeah. again, please. We've What's been tweeting this off and on the last couple of weeks. I'll I'll show it to you. Somebody will. Send it. Helen Mirren's right there. Susan Sarandon. Ugh. I'm a big oh, fan. I'll, of I'll tell you a good one. The girl, the, who's the girl who did the uh, the lap dance in the wrestler? Marissa oh. Tomei. Yeah, Tomei's she's not, not that old. old. She's like forty. Yeah, Dude, she's, forty she's, used to be fucking bad. old. You're she's not only yeah. like forty, maybe forty. Dude, in the seventies, in, se in the seventies, you were fucking old. I'll give you a classic you example. Is that how right quick, there? how quick Lucille Ball got old. Oh, she wow. didn't look half bad in the Lucy Show, and then that Mister Mister Moody, Mister Moody, <laughs> camel unfiltered oh, voice, uh, Mister yeah. Moody. I saw, uh, I saw <laughs> Marissa Tomei. Up. <laughs> I saw Marissa Tomei in a restaurant like two weeks ago. She is fucking beautiful. Oh yes, yeah, she is still beautiful. Yeah, but what I'm saying though is. Mm. That, like, you know, th th there weren't 40 year old pinups when I was growing mm, up, no. Joe. Way nope, back no. in the 70s. But, <laughs> it had to be Barbie <laughs> Benton. But Joe's in on an, in another. Was, shit. Actually, the, oh, back Playboy. in the day, the pinups were older broads. They weren't. What, what, man? what are you talking about? All the fucking sexy like broads. Who? If you look at TV back in the day, it was all older broads. No, they just, everyone they just have, looked like, old. Young. Back yeah, Farrah yeah, Fawcett, right. Charlie's they, Angels, uh, Jamie 30s, Summers. 40s. No, they weren't. I yeah. think you're right. Yeah. yeah, they were all Daisy in their 30s Duke. and 40s. They had no 18 year old fucking movie stars. No, they, they were, were all... in their 20s. No, they were in their no. 20s. No, they they looked look like no. shit. They were in their 30s, but I think it was like late 20s, early 20s. Charlie's Angels. Farrah Fawcett was the number one. I'm talking before that. I think Farrah was in her 30s. Back in the way back in the day. It was I was at Marilyn 30s. Monroe. Yeah, she was like fifty-six. She was like thirty-something. <laughs> no, <dude, laughs> Betty, Betty no, Page. At the end of her life, she was. Betty Page is the first pinup girl. She was like twenty-three or some shit. Yeah. 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 No, you know, Bob, I love you to death, it. but you're way off. You're no, way off the mark. I think here. Anthony agrees with me. No, I, think, I think he's right because yeah, yeah. a lot of these. Uh, like little Raquel bit, Welch and a stuff. Of, a lot of the bitches little, back little. in the day were f the heavy was big too. They they were rounder. They weren't their fucking. That's that, well, now that's that, true. Yeah, that yeah but look, they, they were in their twenties. All right, now go ahead, move on. I got something true. Go ahead. I don't know. If they're in their <laughs> <20s>. <laughs> now, I want to hear about the old broads Joe likes that we know. Susan Sarandon. There, Goldie Hawn like passed Susan the Sarandon? thing, but Goldie Hawn had a minute there, and then in the late nineties where she was like right on the money, but she's really? passed it out. Dude, Raquel Welch is still fucking banging. She is not. The she commercial is she does. Still bang. You know, like, the, but but they do everything they can for those commercials. That's fine. Like she's going, you know, uh, with a Foster Grand commercial. Yeah. And, and it's like if, yeah. if you take the, those clothes off, you know what that's going to look like. Yeah, I know what's the grumpy old men. Oh, Joe knows. The two oh. broads and grumpy <laughs> old men. Joe knows. Joe knows. Oh. Oh. Well, the you smell of Ben Gay turns them off. The old broads. The grumpy old oh, men. Oh, dude, Anne Margaret and the other one, uh, Sophia Loren. So all I think about is what that shit must look like naked. I don't care what the fuck they look like with all their makeup on and their clothes. And the hair and everything. You know what? The, once they, you're, they're standing there nude uh -huh. at yeah. the bed, ready to crawl in. And the realize, bottom of their ass. Know. You know when the old ladies, the bottom of their ass falls out when they oh, get old. God, oh, it's just, elephant butt. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not an ass you want to fucking look at. I realize elephant butt. You know, once they shut off the movie floodlights, that. She's got Anthony eyes. <laughs> but, you know. Hey, it's the sunburn. It's, I'm swollen, I swear. <laughs> All right, here we go. You got shemp eyes right now. I am so swollen under shemp. my eyes. I really do. <laughs> so bad. Come on, put them up. It really up. is bad. I looked in the mirror, I'm like, I'm so puffy under the eyes, it's terrible. Who's that? Helen Mirren. Now? Oh, or back in the day. <laughs> uh, shit, back in the day. Ah, that's fucking. No, she's, that's all photoshopped. That's back in the day, though. Not the, no. What do you mean back no, in the day? She's been around forever. She's she's old there. She's in front of a mirror with her fucking big and 
Big fucking boobs almost out of her fucking dress. Oh, she's, she's just smoking. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, smoking. You know who's, who's held herself together is the original uh, blonde on, on uh, is it Suzanne Summers? Oh, 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 that's another one way up my list. She's she's a, how about wreck. Sally Field? She's Sally so Field. She's a wreck. Sally Field, I'd still bang. Oh, even though Suzanne she has fucking Summers. Bone disease. She's a wreck. She I gotta has be a honest flat with you. ass. Last time I saw Suzanne I saw her on Summers, the show. Yeah. she was on the Arsenio Hall show. Oh, okay. See? Oh, okay. I saw her on the uh, commercial for some fucking new thing she's selling, and, and it's like she went to smile, and, and you could tell they must have fucking just injected her with all kinds of collagen and Kathy Lee Gifford it from her ass. Still bang Kathy Lee. Kathy, Kathy Lee? Lee Gifford. Wow, you like old bags. What about Jane too? Fonda? Just old bags. Uh, Fonda's looking a little too old now. What but if yeah, she probably. promised to yeah. tell you some showbiz stories? Yeah, yeah. some Ted Turner fucking stories. <laughs> what about Barbara Eden? <laughs> Barbara Eden, I don't know I what she looks. Genie, yeah. What does she look like now? Nah, now, now it's over. Good. Now Let's she does. See. She's got to be a wreck. like Barney Rubble. <laughs> what about uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cr that, she's like grandma-ish. Betty they White can't be Graham. No. <laughs> what about what about Phyllis Diller? <laughs> Florence Henderson. <laughs> Phyllis Diller. <laughs> Phyllis Diller. Yeah, once they wear boas and have those those fucking Hunter S. Thompson cigarette holders, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what the that, 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 Barbara that Eaton? Hat. <laughs> did you spell it Barbara cat? Eaton? <laughs> yeah, he did. E A T O N. Way to go, Bobby. Hey, you got us there though. Yeah, wow, well, that's but a picture from 1965. Bobby, type the year. Type. Type Barbara Eden to... You don't know how to spell it, do you? So that you had to show, type I Dream of Jesus. I know, I, I know I've talked about this before, but that show was the most sexually frustrating show you could ever watch as a kid. Yeah. I remember, I didn't even know, because it's pre-internet and all that shit. I didn't yeah. really even quite know what sex was when I first saw it. But I knew, it was like, why isn't he just hugging her? Yeah. Or, <laughs> hand, touching her. Hugging her. Oh, you yeah. master. What do you want me to do? Fucking... Yeah. What do you think? Show me your boobs. Right. Even as a kid, you knew that. Yeah, you knew you needed to like touch. you should have been doing something. Oh, he Chidi, get off of me. I, ha I have business to attend to. <laughs> what was the dice thing where he talked about how he was mad that that I Dream of Jeannie was back to back with like that girl or whatever? Like, Piss me off because you jerk off to Jeannie. You don't have time to rejuvenate. <laughs> <laughs> that's <a> great. <laughs> oh, that's her now? Yeah. Uh, nah, 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 that's too uh, long. She's got like cheek implants oh, or something. Man, son of God. Oh, you know, I still take a run at Mary, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, my right. God. Oh, you're out of your mind. Gross. She looks I like am a praying stunned mantis. by you. She's fucking gross. Not, you I lost us. Stunned. She, she's she's her, I never had you. She's, her she's eyebrows, got so many ligaments her, now. Her eyebrows I don't know. The last I saw. She's terrible. All right, Meanwhile, I sit here and think of bending over Dakota Fanning. <laughs> oh, Jesus, <man. laughs> She's legal. Christ, is she legal now? Yeah, I think so. Did you see the runaways? Yeah. Holy shit. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what, was there a grandma in there you really liked? <laughs> yeah, let's go the other way now. Anthony, how, how young would you oh, go? You don't You're know. not going to get caught. If there were no... Because I've heard this <laughs> question a thousand times, and I've heard such dishonest answers. This is answers. such a great fucking beginning to I've the heard answer. So if many, there was no laws... I've heard, <laughs> because I've heard this question, and I've heard so many dishonest answers. If there were no laws, no repercussions, you're not fucking anyone up mentally, that right after it's done, the fucking men in black thing flashes, and everyone forgets everything that happened, mm -hmm. probably nine. No, I'm kidding. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, look, at Jesus. <laughs> look at your face. Everyone puts back from the microphones. <laughs> Bill looked at me with honor disgust. <laughs> Everyone just pushed back. <laughs> no, I've Jesus. seen hot ass 15 year olds. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait till I'm sitting on the other what? side of the glass having that boogie nights conversation. With you. They're just—they're so small. <laughs> you, no. should have, you should have been alive in the I'm, old west. I'm talking. You've never seen a 15-year-old that was hot. Oh, shut the fuck up! You lying sacks of shit. No, we haven't. You're lying. There's something about. Maybe I have. You've I'm never just driven not... past a, a fucking <laughs> a when, the, when they let the, <laughs> the school out no. and the girls are walking by and you just go, Jesus Christ! You never parked I'm outside about of the... a school bus. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Jerk off in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Now you gotta, you gotta be honest I've with this one. Be honest. With, I've done a joke. honest. With, I've done a joking with my friends in the car. I don't do it by myself. <laughs> I'm talking. Oh my be God. honest. You've never seen a girl no, no, that was probably 15 years old that had a great ass ass on her, great set of tits, and, and looked fucking pretty. You've never seen that. I'm not talking you know that moment. 15, you I'm not look, gonna... Bobby, you look and you're like, holy shit, and then you just shut it down.
That's basically what happened. Okay, I can't. I can't use. It's like when you, you, you know, see somebody. Your dad, you yeah, say, yeah, yeah, exactly. Somebody you know, in your family is going to die. No, and I, but you, I, I would say about, 16 right, or go. older. <laughs> oh, one year makes a big difference. <laughs> 15, 15 <laughs> is creepy. No, 15 is creepy because of the, the shit that I took out. You say you take out all that morality, you take out the law, you take out fucking anyone up mentally, and and you're saying that 16. You just you just said 16 because it's a little well, more listen, acceptable. Everybody has a line. Yeah, that's relaxed. You guys line. are on the same He's page, more or less. I'm just saying these like shit that they've never all, seen. All, all Bill is saying that, that he wants them to at least be in high school, not junior high. No, no, no. I'm that's just not going to admit it on the radio. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you saw all the nodding, man. What's relax? Show me. No, I, no. I'm just saying the sixteen-year-old is when yeah. a, a woman can actually. Some of them can. Is you could think they were nineteen or twenty-one. Exactly. But fifteen is sort of that. Nah, cousin. you can still see that. And it's there's that some seventeen-year-olds that look like they're fucking it's, uh, twelve. It's sixteen and pregnant, not Obviously, fifteen. Obviously, I'm pregnant. talking about exceptions Anthony. here. Anthony. Yeah, that's what I'm talking here about. Here I am extending. But an you can't say branch. that there aren't any fucking Christ. that you've never. Show what? me a fucking picture. <laughs> That's all, all right, I'm going to say. To. I'm going to. Show me a picture. Right. I want Bobby, to see you hold on. Bobby, you're, all right. you're over there. You go to this site. Dude, the FBI <laughs> is going to be breaking down this so door goes, in a half a is second. Is Ant pissed because these guys wouldn't fuck a 15-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm just saying. Don't go there. I'm not saying anything. What's that? Let me say. Anthony Cumio.com. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is, I think this is safe. Life. Yeah, I think. Must be. Yeah, but those are just going to be girls of age that look like they're 50. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even want to see this site. This oh, is like, like, oh, it's disgusting to you. We understand. No, no, it's Why not. we go to fucking... Uh, no. This might pull Turkey up your neck. movies here, Joe. Turkey I think that was disgusting. <laughs> Turkey neck. Give it bad. Oh, look, it's safe. Now, what are you yeah, they're, they're wearing clothes. Except for the right side of the screen is a little oh, rough with the advertising, but let's just continue. We warning. don't care about viruses. Oh, fuck fuck not the my warnings. computer. <laughs> what, are you, what are you, a pussy? Fuck the warnings. What's no, the warning click, set? Click yes. Let's go. I hit it. It's not going. Uh-oh. Bobby's going to be crying in jail. I had a hit film at a festival. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was turning around. I hit one fucking button on the computer, Tell me, Bobby. Dude. dude. Come on. Dude. Oh, boy. The site might be. Yeah, dangerous. you better get off the site, dude. You got all kinds of pop-ups. Where's Dan? Danny usually wrestles. <laughs> Somebody uh, to the ground oh, to try will. to go to these sites. He again. will. Just go fucking. Remember that day oh, right. Patrice that was screaming at him? That ain't working. No, go to the other thing and just scroll. Continue. There we go. Scroll. Oh, that ain't going to work. Oh, I'm boy. trying to scroll. Look at Bobby. Bobby. Bobby is in the zone. Look at his. He really Look is. Tense. Just fucking no. hit that or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe, dude, maybe we were doing a radio something. show, man, and they told me to go on this site, dude. Come I was on. doing research. Something like that. How about us? You don't like what? That it won't let you on the probably illegal site? <laughs> right. What? Close out of that. Now I'm getting nervous. How about Susan Lucci? Oh, Ugh. fuck yeah, dude. Uh, 60, 64, yeah. I believe. Absolutely. Uh, I, bang, I bang every one of the chicks on Hot in Cleveland. Every fucking last... Except Betty, Betty White. White. Not Betty White, but the other three. Especially that English one. I don't that know. talks like she sweeps show. chimneys. Obviously, this show's for you. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you didn't catch every episode, do you? <laughs> wow, you got something going on, man. Oh, man, I love those right. girls. We should yeah. break, because we got some fucking commercials we have to fit in. Damn it. So we'll figure it out. So congrats on the movie there. I think we got some of the info out. Cheatthemovie.com. Yes, thank you very much. Very cool. Um, all right. Uh, any Anything else we're promoting before we go to break? I'm going to yeah. be at uh, Portland this weekend at Parlor Live. Parlor Live, I guess it's called. <laughs> and I'm, I'm on the, uh, the Jimmy Norton tour. I know. I'm trying to figure out if I can get up there and see you guys. guys. Yeah, it's what pretty Fox Foxwoods this show. weekend, right? I yeah. think it's sold out. Ooh. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's sold out. I'll be in Cincinnati. Kenny's, trying to, Kenny's trying to talk me into, into it, but we would leave in the middle of the night and come home in the middle of the night. I'm like, how is that fun for anyone? Like, they, they don't know how to go to a gig and relax and enjoy themselves. He'll pick oh, that's, up. that's the perfect way to do it. You avoid the traffic. You yeah, but he'll pick up Jimmy at like 1 in the morning on f Friday slash Saturday morning. We'll get up there, and then right after the show, we, we have to hit the road and come home. It sucks. Oh, I'm leaving the second the show's over. Are you? Yeah, but you're one of those guys that does hang if it's a cool place. Yeah. These guys never. <laughs> never. Yes, Kenny. I'm not. I'm not. Can I say two things? Oh. Oh. Number one, Bill, if you need anything for this weekend, let me know. How about a ride? Okay. 
Jesus, that was and easy. Oh, yeah, number two, second. I, I watched Cheat the movie in its entirety. <laughs> well, that's 15 minutes. Were you able to focus for 15 minutes, it, Kenny? It's, it's terrific. Yeah? You yeah. like it, huh? Thank yes. you, Kenny. What a sweetheart. Kenny says, why, why did he terrific. get to see it and we Are haven't seen it? It's a dramedy. A dramedy. Don't say anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're Just gonna blow up. the left turn. I'm uh, gonna. Uh, I have my hand on the dump button. If you say anything silly, no, it's, it's very. Dark you like the left turn? And compelling and gritty. Uh, uh, be careful. Joe doesn't have an athletic bone in his body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Kenny. Glad no, you the, I love school. the chase scene. Glad. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he fucking you guys? Did up? you like no, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah no, He's all right. It. Is yeah, that the first time you ever said dramedy? <laughs> yeah, I had to think of it. Like, I knew there's, there was a word for it. <laughs> you know, it's the first time I've really you, not seen you with the sport coat on and realized you have the exact same body as Vince McMahon. <laughs> 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 Can wow, somebody please really get him does. one of those old WWF blazers? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's a dramedy, I tell you. <laughs> Jonah Rosa doesn't have an athletic bone in his body. No, it's great. And, and when you make it into a full-length feature movie, I would yeah, love to be in it. Yeah, we got a break just because we have live reads. God, it's the only, only fucking right. reason, unfortunately. Right. Uh, we'll continue with Bill Burr, Joe DeRosa, and Bob Kelly next. Stay there. Point, Bill. Bill Burr, Joe DeRosa, Bob Kelly. What a historic moment. We just had a hell of a ten minutes uh, there. The, the show continued. We we're talking about Donald Trump, and I guess breaking news: uh, the White House has released President Obama's birth certificate. Yeah, yeah. And Bill Burr goes, "Wow, it took him a long time to make that." <laughs> yeah, it took him a long time to print that. Yeah, up you and would make think it that like that the White House thinking, what, 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 what kind of identification you want? It's actually on a, uh, it's on an elephant hide. They had a, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they had to spill some coffee on it and throw it at a dryer with poker chips, <laughs> make it look old. <laughs> and what is Donald Trump saying about this? That it's all bullshit. Wait, uh, we might have audio. Do the people in this country now need to. Donald Trump is having a press conference. He's over saying here. Donald um, Trump is saying. I know. I think what you're going to see. First, we have to look at the certificate. But I am really happy that this has finally taken place because we have some issues that are are unbelievably important. You didn't answer my question, sir. You said we. I think I did. No, I did answer your question. What are your qualifications to assess this? You say. You have to look at it. You up. have to decide. This is going to be good. Gives you the authority. The well, I'm going to look at it, and many other people are going to look at it. You're going to have many people looking at it, and obviously <laughs> they're going to have to make a decision because it is rather amazing that all of a sudden it materializes. But, but what gives you the authority? I hope it's the right deal. No, he can't I'm sure, hear you. I hope it's the right deal. We have to look at it. A lot of people have to look at it. Experts will look at it. There's and people looking at it. I am it. really happy. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, I'm very proud that I was able to bring this to a point. Nobody else was. The Clintons during their campaign weren't. All of the other people that talked about it, for years they weren't. I am amazing. I am really honored by this. Yeah, okay, he's Next honored. Question. Sure. 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 this says, though, right now, if, if, if it's not true, for example, does it mean the country is led by an illegal president? Is that what you're saying? Well, let's hope it is true. I don't want to answer that question because it's yeah, too negative. It may not be true. Honestly, the question is so <laughs> negative. At this point, I don't want to answer that question because you're asking a very <laughs> negative <laughs> question <laughs> if it's not <laughs> true, if it's not really <laughs> his birth certificate. Please exactly. stop I don't asking questions that. about I what I've been insinuating. And the reason I hope it's true, because we have very big problems in this country. This country is suffering right now. I mean, I have people, they can't get gasoline in their tank. They're topping out their tank because they can't afford to do it properly. They've what? never what? had this what? before. What the fuck you, look does that at, mean? you look at when resorts around tank, the country. It means I can't They're not doing it. any yeah. business because people don't drive. And then if you look at Saudi Arabia, what, <laughs> what is doing? he saying? It's unbelievable. Three days ago, they announced essentially that they're going to raise the price of oil. By cutting back on production. Oh, we got trouble. And we have nobody right here to speak in Riverside. To these people. <laughs> we have <laughs> nobody. A of tea around the pool. And that's 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 you're not going to do it, fellas. We're protecting you. <laughs> you wouldn't be there except for us. We have nobody. Now, yesterday, our president said that he has very little impact over the price of gasoline. I think he's 100% wrong because OPEC is setting the price of fuel. We have we have oil. All over the place. <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> every ship at sea is loaded up with oil. They don't know where to dump it. And yet every day, 
we're setting records. And pretty soon we're going to be at that 150 a barrel, the all time record. Now, when the president says he has no power over that, I mean, it's pretty sad. But in one mind, is it possible that the country is being led right now by an illegitimate president? Is that possible? Well, I certainly hope it's not possible, and I hope we've accomplished a lot by what I've been doing for the last couple of months, and I hope we can start talking about OPEC and China taking our jobs and making everything for us. I hope we can start doing that. What I would do differently is come down really hard on OPEC. If you look at these nations, they wouldn't even be there except for us. You take a look at Kuwait. I mean, we handed Kuwait back to the people that right now essentially own Kuwait because it's really ownership what? more than anything else. We handed it back. They never paid us. You look at these nations, Peter, Saudi Arabia. Did we go we there to have them pay us? Then they, then they want to raise <laughs> the price of fuel. Us. It's not high enough. It's like a job. So it would be very easy and very quick to get gasoline prices down. Gasoline prices are at four dollars, five dollars, they're going to six dollars and seven dollars as sure as you're standing eight. there. Do I hear nine? nine. Yes. In, in terms of credibility, you came up here once in the black helicopter in 1988 and you were running as a Democrat. Why should people, what makes you... No, I wasn't, let, let me just tell you, it's sort of interesting because New Hampshire's been a very special place. I came up in 1988 or 89, long time ago, as a favor to a friend of mine, and I made a speech. But it's a place that I've always liked, and I've been to actually many times, New Hampshire, and in making the speech, everyone thought I was running for president. I, as you know, I wasn't running for president. I never said I was running for president. I made a speech on success for a friend of mine around 1988. And the buzz was unbelievable because it happened to be New Hampshire. It was the and biggest it was some buzz time ever. Prior to primary <laughs> season. So, in a way, New Hampshire sort of got me started. It's sort of interesting. But I did come up in 1988. I made okay, a speech. Was Hawaii it even was a really state a state in 1961? Much so, more so than That's what I would say. Fact, hey, I was Hawaii know. even a state in 61 when Obama was born? Huh? Was he's going to be a great president because he has mastered the art of question dodging. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> How the fuck did he turn this into oil? He really <laughs> fucking... <laughs> yeah, they, they called him out by saying, look, here's the birth certificate. But he's finally releasing well, it. It's not I'm a story a very, anymore. Strong Oil's all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> I got this on my way to dump it. I got some of my <laughs> cock <laughs> from this Norwegian <laughs> model I was banging. <laughs> I'm gonna dump in a week. <laughs> oh God. Well, <laughs> if we ever, if he becomes president, that means we should never have a president that was roasted. <laughs> doesn't have a shot. I guess Obama's going to talk in a minute or two uh, about the certificate yeah, nine, being nine, really What happened to this out. fucking country now that the now. president has to respond to like every you know jackass out there? He's got to respond well, to Donald said, Trump. First of all, first of all he should have responded like day one with the birth certificate. Oh, here it is. Why wait two uh, over two years before you just say, "Look, yeah, I'm a citizen, assholes." I think that would have cleared up I, the problem. I agree I, with, I go that. with that. Yeah, I go with that. We have a friend. We have a friend who's been doing publicity for years and years, and his whole thing is, you cut the head off the snake immediately. And the example he kept giving me was Tiger Woods. He goes, the second his wife hit the his car with the golf club or whatever he yeah. did, he goes, he should have just came out immediately and went, we're having some problems. I f I made a mistake, and it would have been done. Yeah. But instead. He goes, they perpetuate these problems by dodging it. Ambien, and I was uh, That everybody driving. comes out of the fucking woodwork. Yeah. Yeah. He tried yeah. to stop the car with a golf club. It really is um, to rescue me. easier to just lay it all out there. But I think you'll you know, be surprised. The best one I ever saw doing that was uh, Madonna. Really? When Madonna first hit, they found like naked pictures. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, goes, yeah. she goes, oh, they find those? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, what about him? Yeah, it was fun. Anything? Yeah, yeah. My, diffused. My bush was hairy. I had a really big bush back then. Yeah. Yeah. Little tiny nipples. Big bush. Everything's legitimate. You ask me questions that, frankly, nobody gets angry. The press doesn't get angry. Look, the press is very protective. The press is everywhere. Of President Obama. The press is all over very the place. Very protective. Yes. They're not protective of me, but they're protective of President Obama. And they're not protective of most other people either, in all fairness. The word is <laughs> what I've read. He was lost there. Where was he, he, a terrible with student he even when lost he went himself to Oxford. there. <laughs> oh, now he's talking he about how he's a terrible Columbia. student. He then gets to Harvard. I heard at Columbia, 
wasn't a very good student. He then gets to Harvard. How do you get into Harvard if you're not a good student? Now, how do maybe you that's right, like or maybe it's wrong. But I don't know why he doesn't Atlantic release City his every records. Three fucking why weeks? doesn't he release his <laughs> Occidental records? Why is he having a press conference? Well, I'll tell you why. Who cares? Because everyone says he was this great student. Well, if he was, that's great. And if he wasn't, that's great. I, I was a very good student. He cheated at a game of Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> well, I think, I think academics... Yeah, the, the Donald's going to start reaching. Education has always meant a lot to me. <laughs> so what, and I think... Hey, you know this shit. What is he getting at? He's and, getting at the fact that uh, this, this uh, is now over because he showed the birth certificate. He, that was his big thing. So now he's just trying to find anything else. I heard he stashed Monopoly money under the Monopoly board, which is very unethical when you're playing the game. Well, this is what I was building hotels on Boardwalk and Park Place as my other hotels were being uh, repoed. He went, he went to these amazing Ivy League schools, but what's really amazing about these schools? How do you get into Harvard if you're uh, not uh, getting good grades? I'm just reporting what I read. Hey, I read stuff that you people write. Uh, uh, hey, look, what's worse innuendo than what I go through? I mean, what people say about me. I mean, uh, I have the ultimate in innuendo. But I promise you one thing, nobody will protect innuendo. me like they protect our president. So, Because you're not the president. Yeah, the, uh, you mean like and correctly? Really <laughs> proud that I was able to do something that nobody else could do. Ah, so I, he's I, proud. About it. I feel and the pri president enjoys more privileges. Yeah, I'm wait, <laughs> wait <for the, laughs> yeah. waiting for his big slip when he goes, how do you get into Harvard if you're black? I mean, uh, bad student. Bad student. <laughs> bad student, I meant to say. <laughs> because I don't want this issue. He's fun to listen to, this Donald uh, he's, Trump. He's out of his mind. Oh, God, and he dresses like Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> <laughs> birth certificate, huh? Hey, I gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Not the many more bots. Hey, how did he get to Harvard, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've had a lot of friends that are Democrats and a lot of friends that are Republicans. All right. And over the years, if you know, New York is a largely Democratic place. It's very rare that you see in New York City, as an example, for a, a Republican to get elected. Uh, the numbers are staggering, where a Democrat will get 94% of the vote. Uh, and that's if the what are you getting at? A good job. So it's He's a just very, pulling very those stats out of his ass. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, that there's ninety nine. I remember that landslide. Ninety four to six percent. Over the years, I've supported <laughs> many Republicans. I remember seeing those Democrats. those figures on TV. And I think there's something nice about it. <laughs> the landslide is like fifty eight to forty two percent. Well, they're getting like ninety four percent of the vote. I once watched a Democrat receive a hundred percent of the vote, while the other Democrats took turns sodomizing the Republican candidate. Candidate. Wiping their penises on Obama's birth certificate. <laughs> and they get things done. Yeah. Now we're like That's at right. a stalemate. I think it would be great if great. somebody got in there that actually could get along with both sides. Ah, and I know many of the people like that you? are on the Democratic side. And in some cases, they're friends of mine. I get along with them great. And I, I can get along time. with people. People, I oh, should I be am. president. I should be in the White House. <laughs> there's, there's people offshore in boats, in oil tankers that I get along with. <laughs> I'd be great if Gary Busey just tackled them right now. <laughs> <laughs> And, and uh, two his, plus two, what's yeah. the answer? Well, you know, mathematics has been around for a long time. Donald, you didn't answer the question. I believe I did. Well, you know, I'm not protected against mathematics like the president is. That's a great and, answer. You know, you I believe I did. Like yeah, I believe I and did. This idea, it's like go through a wall. Sometimes you have to be able to go under the wall, around the wall. Oh, oh boy. Boy. Always say well, Sometimes there's about. a door within yeah, the yeah. wall that you just can open up. And the president uses that because he's got all the privileges. <laughs> Sometimes it's like a window. You have to open up for the office, window. Or currently running for oh, wow. office. As he they talks about the economy, why is nobody ago. going? Then why are your hotels and resorts so such change fucking ripoffs? Why how, doesn't anybody ask him that? How do casinos lose money, you <laughs> dummy? <laughs> <laughs> what are you an asshole? Yeah. Didn't you see the movie Casino? Yeah. We always win. Remember that? <laughs> Will you play with us a little more, or is it going to end when you make the announcement? That That's a very interesting question. I think you're going to be very. Surprise. And Colbert said last night you are not running for president. She compared you to Charlie Sheen. She just called this the show. And Coulter? Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Hey, you'll have to see. You know what? We have three weeks. Not a big deal. In three weeks, you're going to see. I think you're going to be very surprised. Well, and I three think weeks, I it's not run, even a month. I'll do very well. He's and talking about it like he's unveiling a new casino. Yeah. I'm not running. <laughs>
Am I leading the polls? Well, Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> he's I mean, the only me, fucking. CNN did a poll. <laughs> CNN did a poll recently. Does he understand why he's leading? I, it was one of the most accurate I, polls ever. Yeah. <laughs> If you'd like, I could send it to you. Just call up CNN. Please run for the presidency. Please run. He's going to do it. No, how much fun would this be? And how bad it's doing. Yeah, but you know what's funny about this? Is when you say you're going to run, it's doing so poorly. the second you're in, all this changes. And it stops being fun, and they start looking into your fucking life. Yeah, yeah. And it becomes horrific. All the skeletons, all the finances, who you dealt with, who was your friend, who was your priest, everything. He has no control over the prices, which he does if he gets on the phone or Gets off the, he's saying in the polls, uh, court, you know, he's leading. He's Jesus Christ. I mean, he just said if he, he gets off the basketball court, he can affect gas prices. prices. Oh, That's what he should be yeah, focused he just said that. on. Yeah, he yes. If he stops eating that fried chicken, I think uh, <laughs> it'll be a much differently. First of all, I don't know Which who the I also are, enjoy. I, said yeah, yeah. Time. Time. I, I to enjoy it, too. Rebels, but, uh, you know, the oil on my fingers after eating it, we should have oil in our cars. You know, we make them sound like this guy would just stop hanging out with Raj and rerun down at Shirley's Diner. For Christ's sake, which was one of my perhaps. favorite shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get away with it. Having our great military people lose their lives yeah. in Libya, and we don't even know what we're getting into. And well, I what about the said, other two fucking wars? Oh, Libya, those are, that's old hat. You know, in the old days, when you win a war, you win <laughs> a war. Isn't. Nowadays, yeah. you win a war. <laughs> Sitting on the table. We lose lives, we spend billions of dollars, yeah. and then we come out and we go back home. And we have it's all easy. of our wounded to take care of. We have all of the now, dead soldiers sense and dead now, say, military. Let's talk about the rich fucks who nothing. make all the money. This is interesting, Libya, because the Arab League, which is Saudi Arabia, and many of the wealthiest nations in the world, told us to go in and take out Gaddafi. Now, if they would have said that to me, I would have said $5 billion right now. You know what? Just for the question, they would have given you all of that money. They would have so paid it extorting to assassinate is, another is, leader. You get no oil. Well, that's good. Olivia. You uh, get no oil. Don't, don't remember China. that when he, when he announces his... So what you're saying is right, you, you would be the president's of America. America. We won't whack I'm any dictator yes. for $5 billion. $5 billion. I fucking love that. To whack a fucking dictator. You know what? He just convinced me. Donald Trump. And Trump for president. China involved? Why are we involved with Libya, and China's not involved? And China. Why did you read up on by the banks? Way, the IMF came out two days ago. <laughs> oh, he knows about they banks. They said by 2016, yeah, China's bigger than we are. Yeah, from our angle. Yeah, yeah. You know why? I'm getting fucked on the interest. They're making our products. I can't believe he just said the going open. rate for a president to kill another, to use the government, the United States uh, Army, so to murder a, a, another leader is $5 billion. billion. Hey, we're doing it anyways. We might as well just paid the word out. out. Yeah, but that's the sound bite they're going to be playing with later today. <laughs> Oh, yeah, boy, they're going to have be fun. A they're going to have fun with that one. That's going to be a biggie right there. If I'm MSNBC up, is going to have fun with that one. Run and win. Within one day, <laughs> they're going to be told, if I decide to run and win. Currency, we're going to tax you The solution 25%. is simple. Kill the bad now, that's man. That's going to do two things. First of all, Within a they'll day. stop manipulating at the mere thought of it if they believed it. But they don't believe this administration because when the president of China comes to the United States, yeah. we hold a state dinner for him. In the White dinner. House. Now here's a guy State that's dinner. screwing yeah, our like country for years. They're going to make, make fun of him behind his back. <laughs> well, that's how those people say uh, steak. steak. <laughs> this year, 300 billion more than that. There's just too many <laughs> channels, channels that this guy's entire speech is being fucking televised. Yes. He's brilliantly. And by the way, they let him slide. I have no anger at China. If you can get away with it, I mean, if I was from China, I'd be very proud. I like the uh, Mugu guy Pan. I love the uh, General Chow's chicken. They got those rolls with the eggs in them. Those yeah. are good. That's yeah. good stuff. Did you ever have those ribs? This guy's going to get me into politics again. I would tax them. Oh, he's great. Oh, he rolls. Yeah. By the way, when you talk about budget deficits, yeah, budget the deficits, deficits, because our economy, how can our economy ever get good? How can our economy ever be strong? Ever, when we have people like me are running away with all the money, making our product, it can't happen. <laughs> I watched Ben Bernanke not long He's actually ago making say, a couple no, of points there. Oh, yeah, yeah. to bring up NAFTA you know at some point. Yes. Because then India I want to know where his products are made. What so eight-year-old sews his shit together? China is making our products, so yeah. we don't have. I look at places like Newton, Iowa, where Maytag moved out and they moved into Mexico and devastated the town. So. If you put a tax 
Uh, on Chinese products. Okay, yeah, we're here comes a bomb. Oh, 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 he got bomb. Oh, he got bomb. Oh, 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 now he's going to respond to Donald Trump. What the fuck is saying? I can't get the networks to break in on all kinds of other discussions. I was just back there listening to Chuck. He was saying, it's amazing that he's not going to be talking about national security. I would not have the networks breaking in if I was talking about that, Chuck, and you know it. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. It's a case to stand up. Uh, as many of you have been briefed, he's like the uh, rock. We provided additional information today. Additional information. About uh, the site of my birth. Now, this issue has Indonesia. been going on for two, two and a half years now. I think it started yeah, during the campaign. Yeah, you could have ended it day one. And I have to say that over the last two and a half years, I have watched with uh, bemusement. I've been puzzled at the degree to which this thing just kept on going. Well, then why didn't you well, release you it? You We've had yeah. every official in Hawaii Democrat and Republican, every news outlet that has investigated this, no. confirmed really that, Foxner. yes, in fact, I was born in Hawaii, August 4th, 1961, in Kapilani Hospital. We've posted that sounds the foreign uh, <laughs> certification that is given seven by years the state of Hawaii he's president on of such a the internet. <laughs> People have he's been in there for two years. years. That they, in oh. fact, have seen <laughs> this birth certificate. And yes, this state thing just senator keeps on going. What age? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> now, normally, uh, I would not comment on something like this. Uh, Why? Because obviously there's a lot of stuff swirling Trump in the press at any given them. day. And, but uh, I mean, it's but well, it, it wasn't as Trump. It became but such a big thing. Two weeks ago, when the Republican House had put forward a budget that will have huge consequences potentially to the country. Consequences, when I consequences. Gave a speech about my budget and yeah. how I felt that we needed to invest uh, in education and infrastructure and uh, making sure that we had a strong. A safety net for our seniors. What happened to the guy that was uh, really yes, inspiring we in his speeches? During that entire week. This, this guy ain't inspiring anymore. It's so, we haven't had that. Story. Everybody goes in the office and start aging horrifically. Yeah. That we're going to have to make it's as like that Star Trek disease that no, they got when you, they all no, started you, getting old. You go in there <laughs> quickly. and you realize that you're powerless against the Federal Reserve. <laughs> yeah. And that if you don't do what the people you know who put you in office say... You have a convertible ride in your future. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Every day you peek out the, you make sure the hard top's still out there. You're like, yeah. okay. The day you see the right. convertible, hey, the weather's nice. Why don't we take the car out <laughs> for yeah, a nice God, slow shit. drive? How do you feel Why? about Dallas? Have you ever been there? Yeah, it's, it's nice. a great place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like the show. You come in all woo, uh, and, then and then an hour and a half in, you're just like, oh, all right. I'm looking at your mouth. Depending on what you say. Just watching Anthony's mouth, like, hypnotized. <laughs> Depending on what you say, you could, uh, you know. Lose your head. Well, that's yeah. It's it's just like it's like it, 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 these guys have been fucking PR down, just like rock. Star, it's like whatever happened to like rock stars. Whatever happened to guys openly doing drugs and boozing it up and you know everything has been so fucking PR down. Do where they're like you can't do anything cool or exciting or edgy but anymore do, in the public you, eye. Do you remember Obama's campaign speeches? Unbelievable. I mean, I can't, I can't stand the guy. I, I don't like him as president and and whatnot, but. You, one thing that really got him across was he could give a great speech. Yeah. He inspired people. That now he's just like every blah, blah, blah. you just hear a low droning noise because with that, catch words of budget and uh, right. line item veto yeah, he, and gas yeah. and uh, because that that is the worst job on the oh, planet. God damn yes. You go in there and you're all like, I'm gonna get this done, get this done. It's like you when you go and like pitch a show. I'm yeah. gonna get a show. <laughs> we want something edgy. I got something edgy. And then you give it to them. Yeah, we love it. And they start taking a hatchet to it. <laughs> <laughs> next thing you know, you're you're the wacky next door neighbor. What happened to my edgy yeah. show? Yeah. God, I mean, just... Remember even fucking Bush senior speeches. No new no taxes. Yeah. Ah! 
<laughs> no new, read my lips. No new taxes. Oops. And that was Oops. the big joke on SNL, how that when uh, Dana Carvey would just do the fucking button phrases, thousand points of life. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. You know, it's like they do that to all of them, man. They get in, they're like, all right, you need to shut the fuck up about this. Uh, we made was, the people happy. You're here. We really are who just fucking comic cattle. Uh, we, we really are just dummies. <laughs> who is a comic? I can't remember who it was, though, that we, but it was just saying he wants to see this Obama run against the Obama from the last election. It's like a video game. It's like it's two different <laughs> people. Yeah. This guy yeah. is like, where, where's the clothes Guantanamo? Get our soldiers out. Uh, 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 and, and and this guy, there's, we're in another fucking quagmire. Yeah. It'd be like watching young Dennis Leary try to, or old Dennis Leary try to chash young Dennis Leary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it for Obama. He's done. So that was quick. He just said, hey, was quick. How great is that, though? He just came right in halfway through his speech. You know he's backstage. Broken not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Now. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he, he was said loving enough. That. The, oh, oh, he said yeah. the basketball line. Great. He's done. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go live. It's like I'm a, the fucking president. It's like a wrestling promo. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Look, Donald. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Trump, I was just watching you. That's You great. want a birth certificate? I got a birth certificate. <laughs> Who, who's <It's> this man? <laughs> Who should Trump run with? <laughs> Trump, do you what? like pancakes? Like, like a Vince McMahon. <laughs> or oh, an, yeah, Or yeah. like an Andrew Dice Clay. He needs He needs a good VP. He needs a good Mike guy. Someone's good yeah. on Mike. Yeah. Oh, how great. I would vote... For Vince McMahon for president, I would vote for that in a second, oh, which is everything wrong to. with this country. You would have to. But I would vote Come for Vince Come November, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dude, right. anyway, do you remember when Bill Clinton became president? He had brown hair. Oh, and like yeah, within yeah. eight months, it was, it was just white. white. Well, they're all dying it through to get well, elected. It's all they get the medicine in there to get elected. The as soon as they get in, it's like yeah, Obama you know, I'm not doing that again. Obama finally went with the medicine because he was starting to get yeah, very really great. And I think he was one of those, those guys that was going to say, "Look, I'm going great. I don't give a fuck." But it was going great so fast <laughs> that he said, "Fuck that. Get that medicine." Dude, I think like, when you have now that, he's not. He doesn't have any grain anymore. He has wow. a little, little pad. He does the a little uh, bit just just for men. What's you, the one? The blend? Yeah, you the blend where you have a little gray. Keep a little gray. A little gray, yeah. A little gray to show your experience. <laughs> yeah, but he's not going gray due to his age. It's like it's it's no, it's, it's stress. The level it's a that you job. age. Oh you, yeah, you're, of course. You're, yeah, you're fucking making then, decisions where like, okay, we're gonna try to drop this bomb on this guy, but it might land on a baby. <laughs> right. and we need you to go out there and convince people this is what. You, <laughs> right. you know what's fucked up? Considering the amount of stress and how that fucking wears away on him in those short uh, four years. Or eight years if you got two terms. They uh, ex presidents do tend to live to be very old, but because the, they, they, they get the good, they get the best yeah. medical uh, oh, care, yeah. not get, the fucking health you know, care so that my, we would get. My parents when they went, I was just I was telling them during the break. My how conservative my parents are. They came out to visit me <laughs> in fucking Hollywood, right? Liberal fucking land. You know what they wanted to see? They didn't want to see the the Walk of Fame. No, or a sunset it. strip. They wanted to go to the uh, Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. Oh, oh yes. And we went to it, <laughs> and uh, this is what fucking blew my mind. They had the Air Force One plane, the entire fucking plane there, Jeez. and you get on it, and there's these rotary phones that they could make a phone call on on an airplane, and we're still waiting for that technology. So they're third, at least 30 years ahead of us <laughs> in technology. So that's probably why they're aging so well. Just give us our war, ignore the Federal Reserve, and we'll give you the magic pills. Look at Dick, <laughs> Dick, <laughs> Dick Cheney. Would, if Dick Cheney worked in a hardware store, he would have been uh, dead at twenty dead. years ago. Dead. Yeah, no, when he could have nine hundred fucking Fuck. heart attacks. Yeah. Just keep going. That's your when best conspiracy Iraq, ever, had, Bill. That I got sick, really sick. Holy like this shit. thing called crud, where oh, the, the sand and all the shit and goes in your nose, and everybody gets it when you get over there. The infection. I went into the uh, hospital there, the, whatever the fucking medic tent. They gave me regular bullshit. Then I hooked up with these, uh, bl you know, these special service guys, and he goes, "Don't take that shit. Here, take one of these." He gave me one pill, and it wiped it out. The next day, I was perfect. Yeah, they got. It's like Magic the Johnson. The magic pill. Magic Johnson gets I, I, a. I like Bill's theory. Oh, yeah. It's a good theory. With the rotary phone that he can make a phone call from thirty thousand feet. Dude, and you should have seen this thing. That was thirty years ago. This thing was like the fucking Mary right. Tyler Moore phone. Uh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. And he's calling Russia. Let me tell you something, you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you can't uh, understand uh, the dark side uh, of the force. Uh, it literally uh, is the dark side. You and we're sitting here with forever. The, I'm pressed with their fucking iPhones, right. and we still can't make a phone call up there. From up there, wow. yes. And they could, just, they could do it Get on a rotary phone. China. 
I learned when I was well, studying when well, I was studying video yeah. uh, or TV history in my video production major. Oh, yeah. you really study that? Well, you know, I don't I know. Took it was that a class. Yeah, too. it was a class so. you to take. I snoozed uh, during that period. Well, and that's why you was making movies in your class. <laughs> 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 I was supposed to pay attention to the fish episode and they yeah. were showing. You would have yeah. been fuck. No, they told us though. They were talking about because it was mid nine, late nineties, and it was they were talking about the coming age of digital television. Oh, and yeah. they kept being like, "Don't buy a TV. It's coming. It's coming in yeah, the next few years." Comes. All this shit. Fuck you. They were talking about the the development of television through the fifties, and they go, "They were on a fucking roll." They go, "They could have easily get digital technology so much sooner." Yeah. The government stepped in in the fifties and goes, "That's enough. That's where we're going to stop it for now." And there's no answer to that question. Well, why? As to why the government just said, "That's enough." They were they were the main funders of the development. They and they cut it off, and they said, "It's gone far enough. We're going to leave." It there for 50 fucking years. Think about how much TV developed from whenever You're it was invented right. up until 1960, and it, then it just stopped it developing. Was nothing until 2000. Happened. What was that about? You think? Nothing happened. Uh, well, that's what he's saying. They're like, yeah, don't why? Don't Digital this fucking television, technology out little by little. Fucking high definition television. Yeah. All that shit just became. You think like, B. Johnson had 3D TV? <laughs> Dude, look at the fucking internet. The internet came out in the 80s, literally in the 80s, and yeah. nothing, 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 nothing. Then all of a sudden, from 2000 to 2003. It's the most magnificent thing Huge. you've ever seen. There's video. Oh, you I was get using it in the out. 90s, though. Let me tell you. Wow. It's like... <laughs> Great it's, porn. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So remember in the 90s? I mean, the leaps and fucking bounds were insane, dude, in like yeah. a four-year period for something that had been around for almost 15 years at that point or whatever it was. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They, wa so wa I, the TV thing is very interesting, like why they would just say, that's good enough. That resolution's great. The fucking scan lines are great. That leave it like that. Yeah, I don't know because yeah, I think also they can still do that now. I mean, the government got all away with a lot of shit back in the fifties and sixties and seventies. Do you think they can still? I mean, with there's so much you you can get information now. I mean, you can't just <laughs> My stop God, this. Bobby. <laughs> what? Because we have cell phone cameras, we're gonna know what they're doing in the Pentagon. Yeah, I don't think they can I stop. Love, I <laughs> love Bill. I man. Dude, you th I just told you Bill his fucking phone you, is thirty years ahead of what you got. You still can't call in the sky. Yeah, but, yeah, but I can. They got all this stuff, Bob. You can they call got in the, the ray sky. gun. You, I can, you can use they the phone got on the, the ray. They, got, they can probably they can fucking do that phone. Star First Trek all, shit and zap themselves to Hawaii, a make a fake plane. birth certificate, and come back. You can they use a phone oh, on a plane. Oh, Bobby. What are you talking about? You can use oh, a fucking phone Robert on a plane. Robert Kelly. Dummy, you can uh, use uh, a uh, phone on a plane. Oh, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. Hello, you, you can. They, have they don't even let you listen to your iPod during takeoff. Yeah, you know, like it's turn your crash. shit off. You, you can Wi-Fi a little bit. You can Wi-Fi and you can use phones Bobby, in 1980, Reagan could take a kitchen phone and call <laughs> Moscow and yeah. say, I'm going to annihilate your half of the planet. I, I get that, but everybody... So where do, you, right where do you think they're not, is more, Bobby? Is more powerful. I'm a civilian. That phone I'm not right there the, is I'm not, I'm not in the Illuminati. Are you fucking just I'm talk not about in that? the Illuminati, <laughs> Bob. Yeah, but Neither are you. The technology now, the technology that's out there now, the average ass, they, you can get a laser gun on fucking Gizmodo. His yeah. point Bobby, is... How do you fucking Bobby, mind? but his point is, is if we can get that, they've got shit 30 fucking times greater than that. Dude, they're that's working on point. a gun. It's called this a shit gun. gun. <laughs> they, they, they can point it at protesters. <laughs> it makes you want to shit your yeah, pants. <laughs> is that real? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Because of the technology. Yes, and he's talking about fucking iPhones. No, but, but what I'm saying is the average asshole can't get away with the shit they used to get away with because of the technology. Everybody has a video camera. Everybody, you can go on the internet and search anything you want. So the government can't get away with what they used so to get away with. So you don't think government regulations of the no. FCC like can't... The, can't no. like the FCC, the you think not opening up certain spectrums that they can't control oh, what we yeah. get as far as television goes? Bandwidth. They control bandwidth. They control... I'm, so they, I'm, control, I'm just saying it's not... They control the information, no, but they control that. how much of it can get through at any given moment. I'm just Here's saying something. they can't control fucking, say, look, that's enough technology for the good. The I same understand way that they, they have controlled stuff. The level of Jesus TV Christ. that was coming out, they control. They they wean out I'm the technology. I'm saying that they, they don't. They take, it's not the way it used to be. As bad as it used to be, because of yeah, the fucking worse, technology, it's we probably can, worse. It's 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 probably not. When the feds step in not. and and put a uh, <laughs> what is what is a the, conflict of interest fucking. Uh, 
What is the Air Force One the... have that you don't have now? What do you think I they have? I don't know, Bob. Nothing. I have no idea. You don't know because... I'm not on. Nothing. You think that Air Force One's technology well. is the same as my one-bedroom apartment? Yes, <laughs> I do. I think they have AT&T Wi-Fi, and it goes out. <laughs> No, uh, I, I, I love I, you, Bob. I believe all that conspiracy uh, shit because yeah. people. This is what kills me. People watch movies like Patriot Games and then they go, "No, everything's fine. Everything's fine." It's like, where the fuck do you think they get the ideas oh, for born shit. identity and pay, that doesn't come out of all? the fucking sky? Uh, people think that shit up. Come on, Joe. Do you know what I'm saying? I think. Come on. And people are saying the TV was le kept that way for standardization so everyone could have television. Uh, or else, because if there were so many different right, types... Right, and then what you're dealing with then, yeah, because you couldn't keep having a bunch of different ones coming up, but then, because they need everybody on the same one, and right. you feed them all the same bullshit, so everybody gets on the same page. So they yes. all need the Once, same yes. information feeder. Yes. But when a company right. wants to okay. make money, and they and create something, or invent something for the public, it's about the fucking money. It's yeah, about, yeah. But I mean, the, especially now But with you technology. can make any TV you want as a company, but if the government doesn't open up the airwaves or digitize yeah. the signals, yeah. then it's just a p paperweight. You, you can't have a guy, Bob, with a better computer than what they have in the fucking Pentagon, or else he <laughs> would be able to take all the secrets and they would be in trouble. So they're always going to be 30 fucking years. Dude, Yankee Stadium even had go, well, we got technology 2014. The shit you're not going to get until 2014 when that thing I, came out. I get that, but I don't think it's... Uh, what I'm saying is it's not as fucking dramatic different as it used to be. I mean, back What are you the, basing that on? That's what I want to know. A phone in the sky back then is was f you're saying that that was fucking holy shit but i'm yeah. saying we we can make a phone Look call in the, the sky now you can use yeah, wi-fi in a fucking later. but they didn't you're, give you're it right. to us for 30, 30 years, years that's later that's what whole you're point. missing yeah, but what do they what do you think they have that Bob, we I don't even know have a fucking Look answering at it. machine <laughs> Look at it this in way. 1980 i, 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 I love bill burr's point because they were doing that 30 years yeah. ago and they finally allow are kind of allowing so us to do it 30 years later the uh obama library i can't just tap out i'm gonna tap out right after his face. I, I love this guy. Bobby, but, but that's the whole, but that's I the whole point. Fathom. I know it's the fucking point. What do they have? A hologram and a laser? A Who fucking Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, Who knows? In thirty years, bullshit. in thirty years, when you walk through this Air Force stuff One, have the best shit. <laughs> Bobby, this, Bobby. That's, that's ludicrous. Bobby. What do you think the government has? Bobby, Bobby you're losing if, on this one. Pal. If Disney sorry, World, if are. fucking Disney World can operate at the fucking level they're operating at, imagine what the goddamn government is doing. Right now, yeah. Disney World stinks. It's, There's oh, never it's a piece of truth. It's it's I, it's, I, it's I, a bunch I, of dumb I robots. I love Bill Burr's going, point, ah, though. No, it's a, it's they, a great point that they were doing I something get it. that we finally get to do thirty I don't, I don't fucking years do, later. I don't I think you do. Get it. So then, Bill's point is, what else? Yeah. Do they have that we're not even going to see for another In decade? Thirty or two. years. I, I just I don't think it's dramatic as it was back then. How do you know? Because we didn't even have this. Two. We have fucking crazy. Why is Dick Cheney dead? Fucking explain. Explaining it, if you fucking I shut up, it, everybody. If you break into the <laughs> Wait, the for technology, 10 the if, average if could... asshole has is fucking crazy. The information not, the average not as asshole crazy has. Not what we got in the White House. <laughs> yeah. the, the information crazy. that we have. Every yeah. kid on the block has this Bob, crazy that's, thing. That's, think Bob, about what I you can do FDR with that. I FDR had an iPad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, I tap out on that. Yeah, FDR had an that's, iPad. You're right. <laughs> that's fucking they're gonna, they're gonna invent the best technology. That can be stolen from you by some kid on the fucking subway. Somebody yeah. can steal that out of your. They've got something way fucking better. No, he just tapped out, dude. He tapped out. Oh, he no, did. No, okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Joe takes go. it too far. All the I'm fucking so, time. Just take it too far. Just too far. Project Blue. It's over. How would you honk his horn? Blue yeah. book. It's over. Blue Beam. I'm sorry. Oh, I was trying to. You stop. know what? Maybe somebody Project out there, maybe Blue one of these fucking beam. listeners, these fucking crazy internet, probably knows right. technology that they have that we don't know about. Uh, but it, we yeah. won't believe them. I, I, they just came up with the rail gun, which is crazy. Yeah, the it's laser. Been for a while. Yeah, but they actually those, they, those, it's, those it's, super it's, trains work on rail gun technology. Yeah, but they actually have a working right. working rail right, gun. Yeah, so right, the phone thing was just so a that's weird what high speed trains work thing. on rail gun technology.
Yeah. Magnets. The yeah. word to scare the shit Christ. out of me Disney today. Disney World had that in 62. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, Walt, Walt, Walt was waving his hands, yelling out anti-Semitic shit point. out of a monorail. He wasn't weaponized, <laughs> you great. fucking moron. Ah, fuck the Jews. He's up there in his monorail. Dude, the five-star general has the same internet I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. He's he, got to wait just like I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Google's sitting there going, we're going to invent internet speeds that that are 500 times fast. You don't think the government's tapping them on the shoulder going, shut the fuck up yeah, for a minute. Yeah, We're going to yeah. have that we'll first. We'll tell you when you fucking invent yes. this. <laughs> you can't have that. that you, you'd be totally fucking with hey, their look, level of control. If we all agreed on the show, how fun would it be? Uh, well, as long as we're know. disagreeing some with guys, Bob Kelly. <laughs> that's right. I love, when, I love when some guy goes, I can't believe nobody's tried to assassinate the president yet. It's like, do you really think some dumb racist hick knows how to assassinate the president? <laughs> the government Government knows how to assassinate the president. Oh, now that's a bold statement. Oh boy, there, Joe DeRosa. That. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say it. Dude, I anybody, say that. What anybody the fuck, can. Man. That that was Joe DeRosa. I know where he no. lives. If you need to know. I'm not saying yeah. they're gonna do Although it. I'm just saying. What do you know? It's Sorry. what Trump just said. Governments Whoa. know how to do that shit. Some no. schmuck in he the middle of Alabama doesn't know how to. He kind of did. He said five billion dollars. The whole argument was over. We had it. It was nice, and now we introduced it. But not being important. I was going. I was going back to the locker rooms, trying to undo the tape on my knees, fucking undo the tape on my fingers. I didn't mean literally this. Do you know what I mean? I just meant my post-fight press conference. Yes. Let's go home. All right. Give me what? my goddamn. Uh, it's time to go home. Okay. Give me one of my things. I'm going to do it right what? now. Fucking 15 year olds? Why you find that? Yeah. <laughs> and cheatthemovie.com. I really want people to go yes. to cheatthemovie.com because yes. these guys really came up with something that might uh, become yeah, we, bigger. At, at cheatthemovie on Twitter, too. At cheatthemovie on Twitter. It's uh, Bill Burr, uh, Joe DeRosa, and Bob Kelly. Very happy for you guys. Nice yes. to break character for a second. Very happy for they you. Are. Thanks. Very um, uh, I can't wait That's to see this now. To break character. Well, you know. To break character. <laughs> my like character this... that they're all assholes. Yeah, but um, I... you, you walk in this fucking studio and you have to be an asshole for the entire time. No, you know funny? I, I would like to be a real person every once in a while. We, we did a podcast, uh, my Monday morning podcast. Uh, we just put it up this morning. And at one point... We were just fucking trashing each other. Then Bob goes, no, I mean, Joe goes, seriously, you know, I love you guys. I'm glad we did this movie. I go, Bob, I go, Joe, that emotion is not allowed on this podcast. <laughs> right. you, go, yes. right. can't be, you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that, I guess. Not. But I want to get the, shit out I there. I want to get the real word out there I, that this fucking thing is I appreciate is good. it. That's good, Opie. Yeah. Right. And you know what? I w this Saturday night, it's, Joe's going to be there. I mean, Billy, I'm not going to be there. You're not going to be there. Yeah, but, I got a gig. But yeah, I do. Where's your gig? I'm doing Jim Norton's thing. The uh, oh, anti, anti anti social. Yours is sold out, huh? It's great. Yes, it is. Mine is happy it. to be there. Mine at Parlor Live in fucking and, Portland is not sold out. You guys out. are adding a Seattle date. We're yep, talking July, about July Friday. first. Go, tickets go on sale Friday. Thank That's you. That's fucking huge. That man. is. I would love to go to Seattle. See fucking you guys. huge. That's a great. And don't, uh, and don't take great me to that city. coffee shop anymore. You fuck. Oh fucking fuck. Maybe next time we can talk about it. The coffee shop, Bastantes or whatever. They wouldn't let you use your recorder or whatever. Hold on, really quick. I know we want to go. Have you ever heard of a coffee place where you're not allowed to use your phone or pull out a laptop? No. This, this fucking I, takes me to the I, place. It's like the quiet the one place. On the train. It's the worst place. Every time I go there, they're cunts. And I brought him there just because I knew they were going to be cunts. And it was going to be annoying. Up, I pulled out my iPad and the Bluetooth keyboard. She walks over. There's no computers here, sir. I in put the keyboard shop. back in my bag. I go, what about now? She goes, no, you can't do that, sir. I mean, cunty about it. And then they kicked can't us. even have it in yeah, there. So no. rude in that and then they kicked place. us out. Yeah, Joe's because they needed the table. Joe's been there. Well, what? They needed going, the table. They actually they said, so I'm going to give you your bill now because uh, basically they should have said it because uh -oh. these people need your fucking table. You might table. have to unleash the pests. <laughs> yeah, right. No, 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 no. This guy is proud of his stupid, what, what are they? Computerless? No, his fucking, <laughs> what he makes there. Home Biscottis? Biscottis. Oh, those things. He's so proud out, of his Biscottis. Uh, Biscottis come over and tell us about what it. What a guy. No, they, they stink. <laughs> fuck him. It's a fucking old cookie you have to dip in milk or yeah. tea to make taste Plus good. it's crumbs. You chip a tooth on those fucking things. <laughs> what's, what's that? What's that? It's, like, it's like a chip. What's, what's that? You guys are talking about Hey, uh, I want to ask you a question. What's the, what's the most important holiday of the year? Flag day. Cut Easy. Day. No, no. Hanukkah. <laughs> I say Mother's Day. You didn't let us answer. Ladies! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> and uh, you know Steven Singer from Steven Singer Jewelers? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> no. Congratulations. Uh, here, here's a rose dipped in gold. <laughs> here's a platinum flower. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, maybe, maybe they thought she was dead.
<laughs> it's uh, it's a rose, right? Stan yeah. Singer, it's just rose. Dipped in 24 karat pure gold. Which is oh, worth yeah. a lot of money. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. It's only 59 bucks, though. Yeah. 59 bucks. <laughs> Wait a minute. And it gold is yeah. $1,500 an ounce. It, it's crazy. It's Yo, don't question Steven this. Please. Singer does don't question this. Okay. I don't know how Steven he Singer does it. He found cheap gold somewhere. I don't it's know amazing. how he does Steven it. Steven Singer That's does it. That's how brilliant this guy is. He, uh, he goes to uh, gold mines and pans the gold himself. Uh, uh, I don't know how he keeps the I actually the, have the one. Overhead I gave it to my wife. She loved it. Don't the girls just love it? And for Mother's Day, it's great. All kinds of different colors just available for Mother's Day, by the way. And it comes in a beautiful gift box. And uh, uh, what do you want? The, uh, the pearl-colored one or the peach-colored one, which symbolizes appreciation? How about the all-gold one? Get it for your mom yeah, for Mother's Day. It's just weeks away. Go to IHateStevenSinger.com or go to 1-888-IHATE-STEVEN-SINGER. Oh, please, order yours right now. What are you waiting for? It's a great uh, Mother's what Day if, gift. Uh, what if your uh, wife was pregnant and then she had a miscarriage? Is she still technically kind of a mother? Uh, yeah, yeah. I would think you could still get her that flower and be like, oh. Silver instead of gold, though? Maybe yeah, silver? Uh, yeah, the bronze. No, I would, bronze. I would bronze. give her quite a few gold ones. and. Yeah, uh, old, old softy. Yeah, I know. I'd be. I'd feel, but the I'd, baby. I, 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 <laughs> wow. Jesus. I would Jesus just give body. a shit. Every time I watch The Simpsons and I see Mr. Burns, I always think of Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> he just lives the same yes. big old house. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna bring in another 15 year old. <laughs> yes. I won't even have to paint the room. <laughs> if only it was legal. <laughs> Ah, oh, you fucking <laughs> creep, that's dishonest what assholes. That's what they're going to say when they lead you out of your house in handcuffs. That's what you're going to be muttering. If only, if it, was only it was legal. I, I don't understand. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> theoretically. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Clean as a whistle, motherfucker. Uh, I yeah. defy any fed to check my computer. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's a good well, thing Well, with say. a warrant. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> give me a little time. Yeah, yeah. Give me, give me a couple of, of days. Give me an hour, please. Cut to a shootout at the it compound. It's the longest yeah. wait yeah. for yeah. a punchline yeah. ever. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> it's really getting scared for him. I know. Yeah. It's like... Uh, it's like... Let me fine. take my computers to an MRI machine. It's it's fine. Fine. To check like my computer that I just bought this morning, brand new. It's like the wake up, Texas. Yeah. The mere fact that you, you know, know to that, do that is creepy. That I know that an MRI machine would screw yes. up a hard drive. That's creepy. I never really? do that. I always take my hard drives out and then I blast the hole through them with a Phillips head screwdriver with a hammer. Yeah. And then you just uh, leave them that way because then they can't. Just throw them in the Hudson River. Oh yeah, does that work? Yeah. yeah. All Jeez. your neighbors are going. Why does Anthony keep having a? Pile of burning computers in his backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeps the fire going one after yeah. another. It's better than this the fire pit. <laughs> it's better than the crosses. You know, so that'd be the great basis. beginning of a creepy movie. Somebody suffering in the background. Anthony just taking a Phillips head screwdriver to a hard drive. <laughs> Joe, you writing? That is pretty huh? good. This is your next movie, right yeah. here. Yeah. This is it. Oh, right. believe me. You got another yeah. library? We could do it while that we're house here. Is good. Oh, sure. Give me. Because we we did uh, yeah. a little time in between the two yeah, two, yeah, two yeah, things. Yeah. Give me that thing, and I'll talk to you about uh, Mother's Day coming up. What? what? Mother's Day? And it's the Day? perfect time to get a great deal on beautiful flowers. <laughs> oh, it's oh, right in my nuts. Uh, flowers. Flowers. Flowers for mom. You could do something great for her. Uh, get uh, the 100 blooms for mom, uh, and it, it's it's only nineteen ninety nine, and you're going to get a beautiful uh, free glass vase. Just nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Upgrade to the premium pink vase. And add chocolates for just ten dollars more. It's amazing special. It's good only until midnight on Friday. So order right away. Uh, here's the only way to get your 100 blooms from mom for just 19.99. Call one one eight hundred Pro Flowers. That's one eight hundred. P R O. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. One eight hundred P R O flowers. <laughs> Mention Opie, or go to proflowers.com and click on the microphone. It's on the top corner, and type in O P I E. That's Opie. It's proflowers.com. Click on the mic and type in Opie. Remember, this offer expires at midnight on Friday. Order right now. <laughs> <laughs>